This was an extremely ancient city. It lay in the middle of the desert like a slumbering beast. However, even from a distance, it was possible to see the divine light enveloping it. Within the desert, it was particularly conspicuous. According to Dongfang Yuyang, this ancient city was a remnant from the ancient era, and it still contained some of the immortal charm from that era. It was one of the Dongfang family's treasures. When the Dongfang family had come out of seclusion, they had brought out this ancient city. However, this was not their ancestral land. No one knew where their ancestral land was. Only once Long Chen got closer to the city did he sense just how huge it was. It was like its own world. It contained its own spatial laws and was actually larger than it appeared on the outside. Once his flying boat got closer to its walls, it seemed particularly minuscule in comparison. Many miles before he could reach the city, an invisible force suddenly appeared, stopping his flying boat. At the same time, four of the Dongfang family's disciples appeared in front of it. The four of them were all women, and they smiled warmly. Please show us your invitation, asked one of them respectfully. The four of them were young, but the heavenly deos revolved around them. They were actually all awakened emperians. Long Chen couldn't help being stunned. It seemed that he really had been a frog at the bottom of a well. Back when he had killed two awakened Empyreans, it had been enough to shake the continent. Now that these ancient powers had appeared, Long Chen found that those Empyreans he had slain were far from the first batch to appear. More awakened Empyreans had long since appeared in this era, but the powers that they came from were Loki and concealed the fact. Now, they were all appearing at once. Long Chen walked off the flying boat and gave his invitation to the woman. She received it with both hands, and upon seeing his name, she was startled. So you are this era's expert. How fortunate. May I ask how many attendants you brought? It will be much more convenient to arrange things if I register them. It's just me. Long Chen shook his head. He waved his hand, putting away his flying boat, indicating that he was on his own. The four women were even more surprised. It seemed that all the big figures that had come had brought a group in grand style. For Long Chen to come alone surprised them. I'm just a very poor soul. I can barely feed myself, let alone afford attendance, said Long Chen. The four of them laughed, feeling that his sense of humor was very refreshing. A top expert who was so at ease and laid back was truly rare. Mr. Long Chen, please follow me. One of them led Long Chen into the city. The huge gates and stone walls were covered in mysterious runes, not one of which he recognized. Upon walking in, he felt three waves of power sweep past his body. This was clearly the ancient city's protective formation. Long Chen felt that this formation was not at all inferior to Pill Valley's divine formation. So this was the foundation of an everlasting family? It was truly powerful. They followed the path, entering another gate and then another. Long Chen found that each gate had different runes operating on them. This ancient city really is powerful. Even without activating the formation, it possesses such power. If it was activated, just how powerful would it be? Sighed Long Chen. Hearing his praise, the woman said, This ancient city is the Dongfang family's divine object. In truth, even we don't know how powerful it is. After all, things are peaceful now and there aren't any large-scale battles. There's no use for such a battle for it. Long Chen's heart shook. It seemed that this city wasn't as simple as just a city. Could it be like the Mo Mountain Seal? It was its own battle for it? If that was the case, then who could block such a humongous object? Could it be that this city doesn't have any historical battle records? Asked Long Chen curiously. Of course there are. The woman was about to continue speaking when a middle-aged man who just happened to be walking past them interrupted. How can you be messing around while receiving guests? What's next? Little Kui understands her mistake. The woman attending Long Chen immediately lowered her head and apologized. It seemed that this middle-aged man's status was extremely high. Long Chen examined him. He was a nether passage expert without resonance with the heavenly deos that would signify he was an empyrean. However, his aura was well hidden, and Long Chen was unable to determine what step of nether passage he was on. My apologies. This girl plays around too much and neglects her work. Don't take it to heart. The middle-aged man smiled slightly to Long Chen and then said to Little Kui, 
hurry and take the guest to the Seoul Harmony Courtyard. Take note of your image in the future. Yes, the middle-aged man nodded to Long Chen before leaving. Little Kui continued leading Long Chen forward. After being chided, she didn't dare to continue speaking. Is he your boss? Why is he so fierce? asked Long Chen. This sudden question elicited a chortle from Little Kui, covering her mouth. She said, please don't tease me. If I'm seen like this, I'll be scolded again. In an everlasting family, when would people ever call someone above them boss? They were always given grander and proper statuses. Furthermore, Long Chen's questioning expression was truly funny. While Little Kui didn't have much experience with the outside world, he is our manager. Although his cultivation base isn't very high, he has a great deal of authority and is in charge of this gathering of past and present heroes. All our actions directly relate to the face of the Dongfang family, so our actions have to be perfect. We can't mess around. Ah, I shouldn't say any more, or I'll be scolded again. Little Kui also didn't usually like speaking to strangers. When it came to attending all the previous experts that had already arrived, she never said more than she had to. But for some reason, even though it was her first time meeting Long Chen, she didn't feel that she needed to be on guard, and so her mouth loosened. What are you afraid of him for? Who told you that rules have to be followed? I cultivate precisely doing whatever I want to do. If you're stuck to the rules, why bother cultivating at all? said Long Chen with an expression of righteous indignation. Little Kui could only beg for mercy as she held back her laughter. Just where was the air of a supreme expert? Long Chen seemed more like a scoundrel to her. There was something about Long Chen that made him seem like an old friend to her. Although she knew that Long Chen was teasing her, she couldn't help it. Long Chen could only stop teasing her. Originally, he had been hoping to learn some useful information from her. But then he felt it was improper for him to bully such an inexperienced lady. That middle-aged man had appeared just as Long Chen was asking about the history of the ancient city. That was too coincidental. He clearly didn't want Long Chen investigating any information about them. If he really did learn anything valuable from Little Kui, she would definitely be punished afterward. So Long Chen decided against continuing. Unexpectedly. There were transportation formations within the city that they entered. After going through two of them, they arrived at the Seoul Harmony Courtyard. A giant gate was present in front of it, with the word Seoul Harmony Courtyard written in immortal characters. Long Chen recognized them. On the other side, he could see a mountain range with a verdant forest. Scattered throughout were some pavilions that blended into the background. Bursts of fragrance came from within. Mr. Long Chen. This is the Seoul Harmony Courtyard. Once you enter, there will be other attendants to look after you. Little Kui said respectfully before leaving. As soon as Long Chen walked in, more of the Dongfang family's disciples came over to him. They were all beautiful women. However, these women were not as powerful as Little Kui. They were just ordinary empyreans whose manifestations hadn't awakened. That made Long Chen sigh with relief inside. If all of them were awakened empyreans, that would be crazy. Clearly, Little Kui and the others that had received him at the walls were some of the Dongfang family's most outstanding disciples. They were only set up as attendants when the higher-ups needed them to be, and these women were the true attendants. In any case, having four awakened Empyreans greet newcomers was definitely amazing. Even Long Chen had been shaken. Now seeing these ordinary Empyreans, he felt much better. These women were much more professional. After checking his invitation again, they gave him a spatial ring. When Long Chen looked inside, he saw that it was a gift the Dongfang family had prepared. Inside was a futal jade bottle. Although it was completely sealed, it didn't stop a refreshing feeling from exuding out of it. Peak grade soul calming elixir. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. Such a thing had already vanished from the continent, and it existed only in some ancient records. There were many kinds of soul-calming elixir. However, this kind of peak-grade soul-calming elixir was not something that could be refined. It was something that could only be produced when a vein of blood soul or formed a spirit spring that absorbed the essence of the or even ordinary soul-calming elixir was very valuable. But to life star experts, it only had minuscule effects. However, if it was peak-grade soul-calming elixir, 
then it could allow them to cultivate twice as fast with half the work. It was a very precious item. Mr. Long Chen, this is a map of the Seoul Harmony Courtyard. There are many different areas that are open to you. There is an auction area and a trading area where you can make transactions according to your own needs. The true gathering of past and present heroes will only start in three days. During this time, you can freely roam about. If you need any help at all, you can come find one of us at any time. One of the attendants also took out a map for Long Chen after giving him the Dongfang family's gift. An auction area and a trading area. Long Chen's eyes lit up. He wondered if he could get anything good there. After the guidance of the attendants, Long Chen followed a small stone path through the ancient forest. Birdsong and the fragrance of flowers assaulted him. There were countless precious plants that he saw, many of which he had never seen on the Martial Heaven continent. He also noticed marks of 11th tier medicinal ingredients within the forest. 11th tier medicinal ingredients were like divine medicines on the continent but they were actually just randomly growing here as if they were no more than normal vegetation. Long Chen was growing more and more shocked by the foundation of this everlasting family. Ever since he had conned the continent's geniuses in Pill Valley, his wealth had soared, and he had thought that he would at least be able to compete with these ancient powers in terms of money. However, upon arriving here, he found that he was no more than a local bandit. His eyes were open to the world. Mr. Long Chen. I can only bring you here. I'm not qualified to enter past here. If you need anything, you can activate your tablet, and someone will immediately come to assist you. After arriving at a small gate, the attendant guiding him stopped. Many thanks. Long Chen cupped his fists in thanks and walked in. Once inside, he sensed an even more ancient air than what he had felt outside. It was like this space had sealed the boundless laws of the heavenly deos. Even though Long Chen wasn't an Empyrean, he could sense a bit of it. No wonder the Alliance had made me come here. This place probably has a formation that sealed some of the energy of the ancient era. In such an environment, one can gain insight into some of the lost aspects of the heavenly deos. Regretfully, it's useless to me. Long Chen shook his head. Everyone said that the current martial heaven continent had declined. Not only had the spiritual chi in the air grown sparse but even the laws of the heavenly deos had started to become incomplete. So the experts of the current generation on the continent were looked down upon by the experts of the ancient era. Long Chen had no choice but to admit that these disciples from the ancient powers were truly stronger than the current disciples of the martial heaven continent. Within the same realm, their auras were much stronger. Their auras felt fuller as if they were bigger. The Martial Heaven Continent's disciples felt like malnourished children in comparison. There was a qualitative difference between their auras. These fellows were smart. Seeing the Martial Heaven Continent start to decline, they concealed themselves, sealing a portion of the ancient heavenly Tao energy, scrimping and saving through some tough days. But now that the continent has declined, for them to come out once more, they're instantly at the peak. Long Chen could only sigh. Those old fellows had made a brilliant move. Whenever a supreme figure appeared amongst their disciples, they would send them to the martial heaven continent for tempering, and if they were able to reach the point of dominating everyone within the same generation and being unrivaled, they would immediately be sealed. Sealing a peerless expert like that cost an enormous amount of resources. Even these ancient hidden sects weren't able to afford it so easily. So whenever such a peerless genius appeared in one generation, those ancient powers would essentially stop raising the other disciples in the same generation. Their limited resources had to go into maintaining their bloodline. They were like hibernating animals, just waiting for the Great Era to come. Now that the Great Era had truly come, they were spending all their money, doing everything they could to raise the disciples they had. Before the Chi Flow eruption, all those slumbering monsters would be awakening. There was no longer any need for them to preserve their resources. They were going all out. Long Chen's guess was that places like the Seoul Harmony Courtyard were normally hidden and concealed, treated like absolute treasures. However, now it was taken out as a show of the family's power. Long Chen looked at the map and found that this Seoul Harmony Courtyard could be treated as its own world. There were many spectacles to see. Following the path, he passed by a mountain stream. 
The trickling water was clear enough for him to see the bottom, and he saw fish happily swimming inside. These are boneless koi. Seeing the rainbow-colored fish, Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. This was a miraculous fish, on the same level as his scarlet blood spirit fish. However, the boneless koi were not to be eaten. What was special was their gallbladders. They were so bitter that upon consuming them, it would allow a person to experience all the bitterness of the world. It allowed a person to view the world from another angle, to comprehend another aspect of life. It had a great cleansing effect on a person's mental realm. Although he knew that the everlasting family was intentionally showing off a bit, Long Chen had no choice but to admit that they had succeeded. They really had good stuff. Looking left and right and seeing that there were no people, Long Chen had an urge to jump down and take a few. However, the reason these fish could survive was related to this water. If he put them in the primal chaos space with the scarlet blood spirit fish, they probably wouldn't survive. I, Long Chen, am not such a person. Long Chen comforted himself and turned away, doing his best not to look at the boneless koi again. Continuing, he grew even more shocked. The pavilions built in this area were all made of divine materials. They were overwhelmingly extravagant. He didn't run into anyone as he walked, making him take a second look at the map. He realized that he had ended up in an extremely secluded space. This was someone else's territory, so using divine sense to look around was definitely taboo. That was why each person was given a map. Long Chen looked more closely at the map and saw that a nearby place was marked with a name, the Heavenly Music Stone. Long Chen walked over to that location and saw that it was a mountain peak. There was a strangely shaped rock located within the trees there. This stone looked like a lotus flower throne. There was a large stone egg on it. This egg had natural darunes on it that were constantly moving. At the same time as those runes flowed, the music of the Grand Dao filled the air. That sound was like buzzing, without any rhythm. However, by paying close attention, one could hear the pentatonic scale within it. Although it couldn't be called a beautiful sound, it pierced people's hearts. It struck a chord within Long Chen's heart. The seven emotions of joy, anger, worry, longing, sorrow, fear and shock all welled up within him at the same time. At that moment, he no longer felt like a cultivator, but a normal person. The five notes led to the seven emotions, which activated the six senses. This music of the Grand Dao was transmitted through them all, seeming to contain the essence of heaven and earth. It was like the heartbeat of the world. If you could listen to it long enough, you might be able to see the mysteries of the world. The Grand Dao is formless giving birth to heaven and earth. The Grand Dao is emotionless, moving the sun and moon. The Grand Dao is nameless, nourishing all life. The Grand Dao is actually simple. Everything in this world has its own Dao, with no Dao better than the last. Greed is what blinds people, and with the leaf in front of them, they don't see the mountain behind it. Long Chen unconsciously sighed, his heart filled with emotions. People pursued the Grand Dao, when every leaf, Every tree beside them was the Tao. Everything was the Tao. Even if there was nothing there, it was the Tao as well. As for making a distinction between the Tao, saying some were minor and some were major, that was just laughable, wishful thinking. This kind of comprehension is worthy of the world's current number one expert. Just at this moment, a gentle voice rang out, and a figure appeared behind Long Chen. Long Chen turned to see a white-robed woman. This was the mysterious woman that had appeared when he had killed the experts of the mechanism sect every time she took a step. A ripple would appear on top of the ground as if she was walking on top of the water. There were also ripples in the air as if she was currently within a waterfall. Despite being so close, she seemed to be far away. It was both mysterious and holy. She always appeared silently without Long Chen being able to sense her presence. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a terrifying expert. However, Long Chen had the utmost confidence in the nine-star hegemon body art. The reason he couldn't sense her was because she had no hostility toward him. I've made you laugh. A coarse man like me is not worthy of a fairy's praise. Also, please don't bring up that title of the number one expert. I don't want to get beaten up by others who want that title. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. So many monsters had appeared, and this world was no longer the same. Who knew just how many people had set their sights on being number one? 
Long Chen wasn't afraid of people, but as for fighting to death over some meaningless title, that was stupid. The woman smiled and walked closer. The waterfall around her slowly dissipated, revealing her true appearance. She had willowy eyebrows and almond eyes, a jasper nose and cherry lips. Her skin was white with a hint of rosiness. Her eyes in particular seemed to contain watery fluctuations as if they could melt a person within them. In terms of pure looks, she was definitely a beauty, but she wasn't as flawless as Men Chi, Len Yuian, and Yu Xiaokian. However, she possessed a gentleness to her that made people have an automatic urge to protect her to the death. This little one is Nangong Zuayu. I'm sorry for not introducing myself last time. Mr. Long Chen, you, you are the Nangong family's top genius. Long Chen was startled. The four everlasting families were only going to send their top experts to this gathering. For her to be surnamed Nangong, she was definitely the Nangong family's top expert. I wouldn't dare to call myself such a thing. I was just born at the wrong time. There wasn't a genius like Mr. Long Chen in my era, said Nangong Zuayu. Ah, please don't say such a thing. Really. You're going to give me a big head. Long Chen waved his hand. It was better to be Loki here, rather than bragging to the point that he ended up slapping his own face. Just at this moment, rumbling rang out behind him, and a sharp oar appears toward his shoulder. It came suddenly, like a wild storm. Long Chen hadn't expected to encounter an attack here. It was so sharp that it made his hair stand on end before it even reached him. The attack came without him having sensed anything before. With a cold snort, he smashed his fist behind him, not even looking. However, what shocked him was that his attack struck nothing. The seemingly sharp attack was completely void, filled with only empty might. Even before the attack arrived, it had naturally dissipated. Long Chen had actually been fooled. He had been unable to tell that this was a fake attack before countering. It was very dangerous. Your reactions are quick, and your power is strong enough but your head's a bit slow. Just at this moment, a tall woman came walking over. She had a pair of exceptionally long legs that were very attention-grabbing, and she wore black leather armor that set off her body. Although Long Chen had seen beautiful women, it was his first time seeing a woman wearing such brazen and spicy clothing. She had red hair that looked naturally curly, which framed her delicate face. However, the corners of her mouth were slightly raised giving her a prideful and fierce appearance. Her arms were bare, but there were white runic lines that were slowly fading at this moment. Due to her snow-white skin, it was impossible to see those lines without looking closely. These were clearly the marks left behind by her previous attack. Her skin-tight leather armor seemed to barely be able to stop her chest from bursting out. As she walked toward him, Long Chen learned another meaning for the term surging waves. This extremely fiery woman had clearly launched that attack to test Long Chen. When Long Chen looked at her, he instantly recognized her. She had been the woman on the three-foot golden crow that had flown by, almost causing his flying boat to flip. At that time, he had only seen her back. Now that she was standing in front of him, he found that she was barely an inch shorter than him. It was mostly her long legs that gave her that advantage. Have I offended you in some way? Long Chen frowned. This woman gave him a strong sense of danger. That bow behind her in particular had a terrifying aura. Bidang Rushuang, if you want to target me, you shouldn't attack others. That will damage the prestige of the Bidang family, said Nangong Zuayu before this new woman said anything. Bidang? Long Chen's heart shook. So this woman was also from an everlasting family. You're so protective of him already? Could it be that your frozen heart has finally been moved? Wow, I didn't think that this little fellow was so amazing. He was actually able to make the fairy Zuayu, who once toppled the continent's geniuses and infatuated countless men, so protective of him. I should take a closer look. Bidang Rushuang actually began to circle Long Chen, seeming to want to find something special about him. That feeling of being stared at by such a terrifying yet alluring woman made even Long Chen feel unnatural. But just who was Long Chen? When it came to immoral behavior. Excuse me, young lady. You're acting like a mosquito looking for a good piece of flesh to bite. If you keep looking, I'll have to charge a fee. Said Long Chen sternly. Ha ha ha. 
Bidang Rushuang was first startled, but then she laughed. The surging waves dazzled Long Chen's eyes. Young lady, little fellow, you are that fellow called Long Chen, right? Do you know how much bigger we are than you? Looking at Bidang Rushuang's fiery attire, he asked, much bigger? That would depend on what we're comparing Nangong Zuiyu's expression twitched. Originally, she had thought Long Chen to be a wise and elegant man due to the words he had said upon hearing the heavenly music here. But as soon as Bidang Rushuang came, he became a scoundrel. I'll go look around somewhere else. I won't disturb the two of you any longer. Nangong Zuiyu bowed slightly and turned to leave. Hold it. Bidang Rushuang suddenly blocked her path. Upon looking at Nangong Zuiyu, her smile vanished. Nangong Zuiyu, what do you think you're doing by constantly avoiding me? You came 800 years before me, and I didn't get to see the period when the Nangong family's glory was at the peak. After I was born, I killed countless enemies and avenged my family's enmities. I wanted to fight with you, but you were already sealed. I had no choice but to be sealed as well with my regrets. Now that the great era has come and we've been awakened at the same time, you've refused my challenges over and over again. Why? Are you looking down on me? Divine runes began to surge within Bidang Rushuang's eyes, and the bow on her back began to rumble. Her battle intent caused the heavens to change color. Although she hadn't even taken off her bow, there seemed to be some invisible energy pulling back the bowstring. Battle was imminent, as if not seeing Bidang Rushuang's hostility. Nangong Zuiyu maintained a calm and indifferent appearance. The Bidang and Nangong families had some misunderstandings back then. Those matters are already in the past. There's no need for the previous generation's enmities to fall on us to settle. If you simply wanted to exchange pointers to corroborate our deos, I would welcome you. But if it's because of vengeance, then I'm not interested you are running said Bidang Rushuang coldly, I suppose, the world is filled with fighting and troubles, why bother adding more for myself, my heart has always been focused on cultivation, searching for the Tao of life, unraveling the mysteries of heaven and earth, as for everything else, I'm not interested, said Nangong Zuiyu still, as gentle as water, it was as if she would never get angry, HMPH, stop acting so hypocritical, do you not know what the Nangong family did back then? I did everything to cultivate so that I could defeat you one day and show the world that anyone who harms my Bidang family will pay a price. Nangong Zuiyu, no matter how you dodge me, you won't escape. I cultivate to defeat you. Although you say that the previous generation's enmities shouldn't be carried by us, your generation will have to reap the seed planted by them. That is karma. This place is the Dongfang families. So I won't force you here, but be clear, you might be able to dodge me the first time, but you won't be able to dodge me forever, there will sooner or later be a battle between us, said Bidang Rushuang, to the side, Long Chen was startled, it seemed that there was some unresolvable enmity between the Nangong family and the Bidang family, well, all this had nothing to do with him, to avoid being drawn into a fight between behemoths, he began to slip away. Stop right there. He had just been slipping away when Bidang Rushuang shouted at him. Ah well, your enmities aren't for an outsider like me to get involved in. I wouldn't want to be killed to keep my mouth quiet. Long Chen hastily drew lines between him and the two of them. My enmity with her can be put aside for now. That thing you said. The Grand Tao is formless. Giving birth to heaven and earth. The Grand Tao is emotionless. Moving the sun and moon. The Grand Tao is nameless nourishing all life. Where did you hear that? Or did you come up with it yourself? Asked Bidang Rushuang. Temporarily ignoring Nangong Zuiyu Noveloon.com This Bidang Rushuang was capable of raising enmities and dropping them so easily. All that tension and hostility vanished in an instant. Actually, I was just randomly bragging. You don't have to take it seriously, said Long Chen. These words had simply popped out of him naturally due to what he had felt from the music. It had touched him in the deepest part of his soul. However, there was no need for him to admit to such a thing. These people here were all monsters, and he didn't want to embarrass himself. Bragging badly might end with him being exposed. Nangong Zuiyu frowned. She looked at Long Chen oddly, examining him once more. His way of talking was rather vulgar. 
especially when he was in front of women, then continue bragging. I want to hear it. On the other hand, Bidang Rushuang didn't mind. She stared deeply into Long Chen's eyes as if wanting to see through his soul. Miss, if you look at me so closely, I'll get embarrassed. Ah, it's just regretful Long Chen suddenly sighed. What's regretful asked Bidang Rushuang. It's regretful that my home already has a heroic woman that doesn't let me touch other flowers. Otherwise, I might lose my life when I return. Long Chen looked exceptionally bitter. Actually, with your talent and beauty, as long as you work a bit harder and take some more initiative, perhaps I might be moved by you. But, we were simply born at the wrong time. I already have someone in my heart and can't add you in. So all we can do is look at each other longingly. But don't be dejected. I'm sure you will eventually find your own faded partner. Just forget about me and find someone better. Take care. Long Chen bitterly turned and left. Then his bitter expression vanished and he hastily slipped away. Nang Gong Zuiyu and Bi Dang Rushuang simply stood there in stunned silence for a few seconds. They were the peerless geniuses of their time and had seen countless heroes. But it was their first time encountering someone like this. Get back here. Just as Long Chen thought that he had escaped, Bidang Rushuang suddenly took a single step forward, appearing behind him and dragging him back. Bidang Rushuang caught Long Chen, a disbelieving expression on her face. When I dominated my generation, I saw countless heroes and killed countless villains, but I never saw anyone as shameless as you. Tell me, just how did you get to be so shameless? Bidang Rushuang was a generation's genius before being sealed. No one on the entire continent in her generation had been able to match her. Her experience was even greater than what others could accumulate over several lifetimes. However, even someone like her had never encountered someone like Long Chen before. Based on Long Chen's tone, it was like she was the one pursuing him, while he was being a proper gentleman and not giving in. Just when had she expressed the slightest intention in this regard? How could someone be so shameless? Actually, I'm not really shameless. There's a fellow called Mo Nian who's even more shameless than me. Miss, I'll tell you the truth. I'm simply too attractive to women. I don't even know how many pretty girls have spilled blood to pursue me. But my home is already full, and I can't have any more. Truly, I'm doing this for your own good. I can't give you the happiness that you long for. Long Chen sighed. How shameless. When did I ever say that I liked you? When it comes to looks, that Dongfang Yuiang is ten times more handsome than you, said Bidang Rushuang. She looked Long Chen up and down pitifully. The main thing is that I'm different from him. My outer appearance is the weakest part of my charisma. Ah, we shouldn't discuss it any longer. Miss, it would be best if you distanced yourself from me. Have you not heard of a certain phrase circulating in the continent? What phrase? Be careful of leaving your daughters near Long Chen. Sighed Long Chen. He looked up at the sky with a melancholy expression. TCH. When it comes to shamelessness, there has never been someone able to compare to you. Just what is so attractive about you? I don't see anything. Bidang Rushuang still couldn't believe that Long Chen was so shameless. Was he really the top genius of his generation? Even Nangong Zuiya was shaking her head. Although she and Bidang Rushuang were from different generations. They had both been the most outstanding figures of their time. They had vast experience. However, Long Chen was something they had never encountered. Someone at the peak of their generation always had their own pride. But they didn't see any of the qualities of a peerless genius from Long Chen. He seemed much more like a slippery scoundrel. Miss, listen to my advice. Take advantage of this time while you haven't been seduced by my charisma to run. Otherwise. It will be too late for regret, said Long Chen sadly. TCH, when it comes to looks, you aren't at the level of shaking heaven and earth. In terms of cultivation base, the early life star realm is just average. Your reaction speed was also just so-so. You weren't even able to tell that my attack was a fake in time. If we had really been fighting, I would have a whole new level of respect for you if you could even last a hundred exchanges. Looks. Average. Cultivation base. Average. Battle power. Average. Someone as ordinary as you. Tell me just where does your confidence come from? Asked Bidang Rushuang. Actually, I'm not sure about my own charisma either. Look, 
just how amazing is a peerless genius like you, but for some reason, you're holding on to me, not letting me go. Why is that? said Long Chen. You're vile. Bidang Rushuang was disgusted. Long Chen had actually taken her actions to be romantic? She had an urge to beat him. Goodbye. As soon as Bidang Rushuang released him, he said goodbye and slipped away for good. That appearance of his was like he was worried Bidang Rushuang would continue her romantic pursuit for him. Bidang Rushuang was ashen with rage. When she had dominated the continent, any man who saw her would become respectful. Some even expressing their love. It was her first time encountering someone like Long Chen who actually seemed afraid that she would fall for him. He's a scoundrel plus an idiot. That was Bidang Rushuang's appraisal. It wouldn't be easy for anyone else to leave behind such a deep impression on you. But Long Chen has done it. Nangong Zuayu merely said one thing before also leaving. Nangong Zuayu, stop trying to change the subject. When will you accept my challenge? Shouted Bidang Rushuang. Sorry, I'm really not interested. Nangong Zuayu's voice rang out in the distance. She had already vanished. Long Chen had escaped and Nangong Zuayu had left. The only one left in front of the heavenly music stone was Bidang Rushuang. The heavenly music stone was still rumbling, but it was unable to draw any of her attention. That Long Chen is definitely a scoundrel playing some kind of psychological game. He dares to tease me? Good. Long Chen, you're quite brazen. Bidang Rushuang snorted and turned to leave. However, just at this moment, she heard some strange footsteps. Turning around, she saw a thin green-robed man, and her eyes narrowed. There was both a hint of fear and disdain in her eyes. The legendary fairy Rushuang of the Bidang family is even more beautiful than the legends say. That thin man smiled at Bidang Rushuang. He was so thin that he appeared sickly, and his face was too pale. Even the heavenly Tao fluctuations around him weren't as strong as other people. Get rid of your perverted eyes, or I'll carve them out of your head, said Bidang Rushuang irritably. Don't say that. As the top geniuses of our era, I feel like this kind of respect is simply required. Dongfang Yuyang doesn't know how to organize events properly. How did he allow any random person to attend? If people knew someone like you was coming, they would have probably decided not to come snorted Bidang Rushuang before leaving. This person was Zhao Wuji of the infamous Mechanism Sect. The Mechanism Sect was a scourge of the cultivation world, and they had been surrounded and destroyed several times throughout history. However, their mechanisms were truly terrifying. Even though their sect had been destroyed, they would always revive from the ashes, and every time, they would undertake a bloody reprisal. They were a sect that changed the face of the cultivation world. Despite that, the Mechanism sect did not dare to offend the everlasting families. That was why Bidang Rushuang was a bit afraid of him while still not giving him the slightest face. Zhao Wuji suddenly called out, Fairy Rushuang, may I ask if you've seen a little fellow called Long Chen? Bidang Rushuang was startled. Looking back, she asked, Are you looking for him? Although she was very dissatisfied with Long Chen, she was curious why Zhao Wuji would mention him. Ah. I didn't expect you to know him. Could it be that you? Zhao Wuji probed. Bidang Rushuang snorted. Don't play this kind of game with me. I don't know him. So answer my question. Oh, then that's good. Just now I heard that Long Chen had come here. So I came to take a look and ask him just what kind of confidence he has to dare kill the disciples of my mechanism sect. He killed seven of them at once, with three being awakened Empyreans. I want to see just how tough his neck is, said Zhao Wuji. The mechanism sect might be used to running rampant, but they didn't dare to go too far when it came to the everlasting families. If Long Chen really had a connection with the Bidang family, then he wouldn't have said things so directly. Long Chen killed people from the mechanism sect? Haha, <laughs> not bad. Maybe he does have some attractive points, laughed Bidang Rushuang. The mechanism sect was like a tumor of the cultivation world, but it was impossible to get rid of it. Even the everlasting families didn't want to provoke them, with other sects being even more afraid of them. It was unexpected that as soon as the mechanism sect came back out into the world, seven of their disciples would immediately be killed. Three of them were even Empyreans with awakened manifestations. Long Chen's guts were truly big. 
Bidang Rushuang had personally experienced just how vile the mechanism sect was back in her time. However, due to her family's status, she had been unable to attack the mechanism sect. While the mechanism sect did not dare to be rude to her, they had never given her an excuse to act against them. Killing a few of their experts had always been one of her dreams. Unexpectedly, Long Chen had dared to kill their people. Hence, her opinion of Long Chen instantly rose. Zhao Wuji's expression changed slightly at Bidang Rushuang's reaction. That kind of delight at their loss was irritating. Long Chen's just a minor character from a declined era, but he dares to be so arrogant. Since he has no connection with your Bidang family, it'll be easy to handle. I'll make him regret being born in this world, said Zhao Wuji coldly. The mechanism sect never cared about the means. When it came to cruelty, they might even surpass the corrupt path. That's your matter. Don't involve me. Bidang Rushuang snorted. She had admitted that Long Chen had no connection with her Bidang family. Zhao Wuji was saying this so that she didn't meddle in their affairs. I wonder just who's stronger, you or Long Chen. As she left, a hint of anticipation appeared in her eyes. It seemed that there would be a good show to watch. Having escaped Bidang Rushuang, Long Chen sighed with relief. Whether it was Bidang Rushuang or Nangong Zuayu. They were both powerful figures with major backgrounds. Furthermore, it seemed that there was some intense enmity between their two families. Hence, Long Chen didn't want to get drawn into their muddled waters. So avoiding those two was definitely a smart decision. He didn't want Bidang Rushuang to think that he had some relationship with Nangong Zuayu. If he ended up having to fight Bidang Rushuang over such a thing, that would be a miserable affair. The reason he spoke like that was to make the two of them look down on him. With their experience, they wouldn't feel hatred toward him over such a minor matter, but they definitely wouldn't bother him anymore in the future. At least, that was his goal. After going to the Heavenly Music Stone, Long Chen's heart was a bit uneasy. The Dongfang family's foundation was truly terrifying. If only he could have taken that stone. The music it released was the music of the Grand Dao. It was extremely beneficial to anyone attempting to comprehend the heavenly deos. It was no wonder the everlasting families possessed so many geniuses and awakened empyreans. It was no coincidence. Perhaps even if the great era hadn't come, their foundation would have allowed them to create an awakened empyrean anyway. Compared to those ancient powers, he found that his newfound wealth, which might have made him the richest man on the continent, was now nothing. The resources that these people controlled were many times greater than all the resources on the continent. Seeing spectacle after spectacle, Long Chen was amazed. The power of the everlasting families was astounding. Hello, can I ask if you're here to attend the auction? Long Chen was lost in thought when one of the Dongfang family's attendants came over to him. Only then did Long Chen realize that he had arrived at the auction area without even noticing. There was an ancient palace here with a dozen of the Dongfang family's disciples in front of its gates. Ah, how do I participate in the auction? Long Chen truly was interested. The auction starts tomorrow. Other than some precious objects our Dongfang family are auctioning, anyone who wishes to participate can take out their treasures for us to auction off on their behalf. This auction is non-profit, and the purpose is mostly for communication amongst the heroes who have come. Whoever puts up a treasure will get 100% of the bid. Furthermore, the Dongfang family guarantees that no harm will come to your treasures. Our goal is simply to enrich this gathering, and if you have any suggestions or requests, simply ask and we will do our best, said the attendant. Long Chen instantly understood that the reason the Dongfang family was so eagerly holding this gathering of past and present heroes was not to make a profit, but to raise their level of fame. They were fine losing money in exchange for that fame. They were definitely successful. The entire world now knew of the Dongfang family's name. In fact, there was even a feeling that the Dongfang family was at the top of the everlasting families. Can you give me a description of how it will be held? For example, what level of treasures will be present? And is the price in spirit crystals? Asked Long Chen. All right. So what will happen is... Through that disciple's explanation, Long Chen learned that this auction's currency was not spirit crystals but something called underworld spirit beads. 
Long Chen couldn't help being shocked upon hearing that. Underworld spirit beads were divine treasures capable of assisting in a nether passage expert's cultivation. It was said that where the world of life met the world of death, something called underworld spirit rock could form. The underworld spirit beads were refined from that rock. This kind of thing was extremely, extremely rare in the current world. It was basically impossible to find one. Only sects with extremely ancient inheritances could have managed to preserve a few. Long Chen had once heard Ku Jinying say that the leaders of the Martial Heaven Alliance were only qualified to take out three underworld spirit beads. As for Ku Jinying herself, she hadn't been willing to use those treasures herself. Although she hadn't said why she was unwilling, when Long Chen had seen her expression at that time, he could tell that she was preparing to leave them to the old man. However, then the old man had managed to break through to the Nether Passage realm himself and Ku Jinying had accepted Yi Lingxin as her apprentice. She was most likely going to leave those three underworld spirit beads to Yi Lingxin. Ku Jinying only had three of the underworld spirit beads. As for the old man, Li Xiangxuan, the old patriarch, none of them were qualified to use them. From this, it could be seen just how valuable the underworld spirit beads were. It was said that the life and death energy within the underworld spirit beads could allow a life star expert to grow infinitely closer to breaking through to the nether passage realm. In the current world, it was a treasure that no money could buy. However, in the Dongfang family, the underworld spirit beads were actually treated as the base currency for an auction. That caught Long Chen off guard. Through her explanation, Long Chen also learned that here, if the underworld spirit beads were exchanged for spirit crystals, it would be around 1 billion spirit crystals for one underworld spirit bead. But that was just a saying. In truth, no one would ever trade underworld spirit beads for spirit crystals. They would only trade them for different treasures. In the eyes of these people, spirit crystals were a low-level currency. May I ask if Mr. Long Chen has any treasures he wishes to auction? Ah. It seems that I'm too poor to bring out anything good. Long Chen could only smile bitterly. Compared to these ancient monsters, he was truly too poor. Mr. Long Chen must be joking. A genius like you is definitely blessed with great karmic luck. All kinds of treasures will automatically come to accept you as master. If you were to call yourself poor, then disciples like myself wouldn't even have the courage to continue living. Don't worry. We guarantee to protect whatever treasures you wish to bring out. Whether it sells or not, no one will know they came from you, promised the attendant, thinking that Long Chen was worried about being recognized based on what he wanted to auction off. Her suspicions of his misjivings were naturally mistaken. Where was Long Chen's karmic luck? It was more like he was blessed with all the world's bad luck. There was really nothing that Long Chen could take out that was as valuable as the underworld spirit beads. If he took something only worth half a bead, wouldn't he be laughed at? He flipped through his treasures. Evil Moon was definitely a treasure, and the fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell was as well. However, even if he was beaten to death, he couldn't bring them out to auction. There were the Divine Pillars from the Brahma Divine Palace as well, but it seemed that even they weren't worthy of being traded for underworld spirit beads. As for those two statues he had taken from the palace, they were treasures. As according to Evil Moon, the stone that they were made out of was extremely rare. But Long Chen couldn't sell them yet because they were filled with divine energy that Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal were going to absorb. The reason that they couldn't absorb it yet was because they were still absorbing energy from the divine pillars. Only once they were strong enough could they absorb the energy within the statues. I truly have nothing valuable to take out. Please let me consider this matter more, said Long Chen. That's fine as well. I know that every expert has their own secrets and taboos. The auction is tomorrow and starts at noon. Don't miss it, because all kinds of marvels will be appearing, and they will definitely interest you. The attendant was only slightly disappointed that Long Chen wouldn't bring out his treasures to auction. The more treasures there were, the better. This was naturally the hope of the Dongfang family after inviting so many monsters from the ancient era. They wanted this auction to be as marvelous as possible, and perhaps there would even end up being something that their Dongfang family needed. Long Chen wasn't the only one to decline offering up anything as treasures. All these supreme experts had their own trump cards and treasures. 
but ordinary ones weren't worth taking out, and the valuable ones were too important for them to part with, or perhaps some of their treasures had unclear origins, and they didn't want to cause any trouble. Some of those people that refused also said that they were poor. For them, it was just an excuse, but for Long Chen, it was the truth. Leaving the auction area, Long Chen felt bitter. It was his first time feeling so poor since he had stepped out into the cultivation world. Those spirit crystals that he had plundered had already been given to Qian Duoduo to equip the Dragonblood Legion. As for Long Chen himself, he hadn't kept that much. With the auction tomorrow, just what was he supposed to do? Just watch as those marvelous treasures were bought by others? I can't plunder these as well, right? Long Chen suddenly had a thought, but then he shook his head. With the monsters here, who knew just who would be plundering who in the end? After leaving the auction area, he had another thought. There was a trading area he could go to. The trading area was for experts who had taken out their treasures and put down what they wanted to exchange them for. If anyone had what they wanted, they could directly trade. Thinking of that, Long Chen wasn't even in the mood to look at more of the scenery. He went directly to the trading area. The trading area was at the peak of a mountain. There was a giant stone cliff here that soared into the sky. There were one meter stone platforms arranged in front of the cliff. Each platform emitted divine light, protecting a treasure that was lying within. The first thing that Long Chen saw was an ancient spear. It was covered in blood runes, with each rune emitting a fearsome aura. Altogether, it was like millions of magical beasts were roaring within it. He was about to go examine the spear more closely when he suddenly saw the object beside it. His heart began to pound wildly. What drew his attention was an ancient divine furnace. It had three feet and two handles, with countless starry images carved into it. Although they were just carvings, looking at them made Long Chen feel like he was floating through the starry sky. There were also images of four fierce beasts on the lid. They had their mouths open looking like they wished to devour all of heaven and earth. This is a pill furnace. Long Chen instantly recognized that this was not a furnace for fighting but refining pills. There were many furnace-shaped divine items used for fighting. Pagodas, cauldrons, furnaces. They could all be terrifying divine items. Their power was exceptionally great, and they cost even more to make. So there weren't many of them. As for furnace divine items, some were used for fighting and some were used for refining. Seeing the circular mark at the bottom of this pill furnace, Long Chen recognized it as the specific mark of a pill furnace. That circular mark was something that allowed the furnace to absorb flame energy better. However, that resulted in its defensive power sharply dropping. If it was easy to absorb external energy, it could be broken easier. So it wasn't suitable for fighting. This is something good. Long Chen involuntarily gulped. Even before he got close, he could sense the energy fluctuations coming from within. That kind of fluctuation was something only alchemists could sense. It was not the fragrance of a pill, but a specific fluctuation that a pill furnace gradually came to possess after being used to refine countless medicinal pills. It was the result of medicinal energy nourishing the furnace over a long period. When Long Chen had obtained the Blazing Dragon Furnace, it had also possessed a similar fluctuation, but it was only present when the lid was open and when he was refining pills. However, this furnace was sealed, and that fluctuation was still coming out so strongly. It meant that there was simply no way to calculate just how long this furnace had been used to refine medicinal pills. The medicinal energy had merged into every corner of the pill furnace. The medicinal effect of any pills refined by such a furnace would be much greater and the chances of a successful refinement were also improved. Mr. Long Chen, are you interested in this star refining furnace? Just at this moment, an attendant from the Dongfang family came over upon seeing Long Chen looking so closely at the furnace. Oh, I was just strolling, said Long Chen. He naturally couldn't act like he urgently needed it. If others saw that, the price would soar. The treasures here are left behind by various heavenly geniuses. We're only in charge of looking after them. If you have anything you wish to trade as well, you can put it up here. You can indicate what you wish to trade for. If no one wishes to complete that trade, you won't suffer any loss, said the attendant. Look, they've all left behind what they wish to trade for. Trading this way is much easier. 
Only then did Long Chen come to an understanding that the masters of these treasures didn't need to expose themselves. Then it seemed that he had been worried for nothing. Looking around, he saw that there were less than 20 treasures present. Although they were definitely priceless treasures, they didn't attract Long Chen as much as the pill furnace. What does the master of this pill furnace want to trade for? Asked Long Chen. 100 drops peaked out transformation dragon saliva, answered the attendant. Although he had known that the master of this furnace would demand a large price, he hadn't expected it to be so large. Peak Tao transformation dragon saliva was the essence of a dragon vein. A single drop could only be extracted from a dragon vein that had existed for over a million years. The current martial heaven continent had already declined. The previous dragon veins of the continent had been broken, while forming new ones was very difficult. If a dragon vein didn't meet certain conditions, it was impossible to extract Peak Tao transformation dragon saliva from it. Long Chen suddenly thought of the four ancient nations' dragon veins. If their dragon veins were extracted, then they would definitely go crazy. They were built off the backbone of their dragon veins. However, even if their four dragon veins were destroyed, only a few drops could possibly be extracted. As for this pill furnace, the owner actually demanded a hundred drops. That was something that couldn't be squeezed out of the continent no matter what. Long Chen shook his head and sighed. There was no way around it. It might be a good pill furnace, but without money, he could only look. In fact, he didn't dare to keep looking, afraid he might fall in love with it. A hundred drops of Peak Tao transformation dragon saliva? It seems that the owner of this pill furnace is deliberately making it hard to buy. Just at this moment, Bidang Rushuang walked over, eyeing the pill furnace. She shook her head. Little fellow, are you interested in this thing? Let me tell you, the price is at least double what it's actually worth. I feel like the owner is targeting Pill Valley. Long Chen was startled, but he quickly understood that the owner of the Pill Furnace was probably trying to sell it to Pill Valley. Pill Valley had plenty of wealth accumulated over the years, and that was why the price was so vicious. Even if the owner didn't manage to sell it, there was no loss to them. But if they did, they would have made a gigantic profit. Young lady. Can you not call me little fellow? That would make you seem old. And most importantly, it doesn't make me feel good, said Long Chen. He had already been vexed at not being able to buy this pill furnace, and seeing Bidang Rushuang worsened his mood. What's wrong with calling you little fellow? Calling you that means that I'm not looking down on you. If you really want this furnace, you better treat me better. Perhaps I can lend you the money, said Bidang Rushuang. She had a bright smile as if she had a card up her sleeve. How am I supposed to treat you better? Let me tell you, sacrificing my morals is out of the question. I have wives at home already, warned Long Chen. Scram, raged Bidang Rushuang. Don't act like you're so handsome that women are throwing themselves at you. When I dominated the continent, you hadn't even been born yet. I've seen all kinds of heroes. And as for you, keep dreaming. Oh. If I don't have to sacrifice anything in that regard, I can consider anything else. If you help me buy it, I'll owe you a favor, paying you back your capital and the interest in the future. Long Chen was slightly moved by this offer. This pill furnace was incredibly important to him. Only with it could he try refining 11th tier medicinal pills. Lending it to you isn't out of the question, but you have to accept one of my conditions. Upon seeing Long Chen's wary expression, the smiling Bidang Rushuang immediately coldly said, Don't talk nonsense with me. I'm not talking about that. I just wish to ask you something. What if I don't know the answer? Long Chen suddenly felt that this matter wasn't so simple. These ancient monsters weren't simple. She wouldn't help him for nothing. You definitely know the answer to the question I want to ask. So, do you want to carry out this transaction? Answer one question from me and swear not to tell what I ask to anyone, and I will lend you the Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva, allowing you to buy this pill furnace. Bidang Rushuang stared closely at Long Chen. Long Chen also looked at Bidang Rushuang. She was beautiful but wild. No one could control her. He was extremely moved by this temptation, but his intuition told her that this Bidang Rushuang was not so simple. One mistake and he might con himself. In the end, 
He sighed and shook his head. He was about to decline when another voice rang out. If you want this pill furnace, I can lend you the Peak Dao Transformation Dragon Saliva. Long Chen looked back, only to find that Nangong Zuayu had once more silently appeared. She was the speaker. Bidang Rushuang's expression instantly sank. Nangong Zuayu had clearly come to target her. Nangong Zuayu, what do you think you're doing? I thought that you didn't like fighting, and yet you came to ruin my affairs? The Nangong family really is as hypocritical as they come. Fairy Rushuang has misunderstood. After all, I've met Long Chen twice, and hearing what he said about the Dao gave me clarity on many areas that I had been struggling with. This favor has to be repaid. Now that Long Chen needs something, I naturally can't ignore him. I have no intention of targeting you, said Nangong Zuayu gracefully. Are you really going to lend it to me without any conditions? Long Chen couldn't quite believe it. Nangong Zuayu nodded. That phrase of yours about the Grand Dao was truly marvelous. I benefited from it immensely. But this Peak Dao transformation dragon saliva is too precious. So I cannot simply give it. I can only lend it to you. Long Chen couldn't help being delighted. It seemed that his bragging had been not bad. Although he would have to return the Peak Dao transformation dragon saliva one day. That was fine noveloon.com then many thanks. Long Chen cupped his fists. This furnace had truly come at the right time. You think you're the only one who can buy favors? Long Chen, I'll also lend it to you. Tell me, who are you going to borrow from? Bidang Rushuang couldn't endure it and forced Long Chen to pick between her and Nangong Zuayu. Fuck, this choice isn't so easy. I'll still offend one of them or maybe both. Long Chen didn't know why Nangong Zuayu was helping him, but he wouldn't be so narcissistic as to believe that she had really fallen for him, nor would he believe that she was helping him over some random phrase he had said. Even if she was just lending him the money, wouldn't repaying it take several lifetimes for someone as poor as him? Perhaps Nangong Zuayu knew that Long Chen could refine pills, but she definitely didn't know his true level. If she was truly investing in him, then she must be a great risk taker. Long Chen didn't know Nangong Zuayu's goal. On the other hand, he liked Bidang Rushuang's direct manner of doing things. Her goal was always clear. How about I borrow half from each of you? Once I have money, I'll repay whoever needs it urgently first. Of course, if you need my help, as long as it's not too much, I will help. Just treat it as interest. To tell the truth, compared to two rich people like you, I'm just a little beggar. I can't offend either of you. But this pill furnace is truly important to me. So, please, I hope that you two beautiful, kind, and generous rich people will stick by me, said Long Chen. After thinking about it, he felt that this pill furnace was more important. Even if he had to owe them a favor, he needed it. Perhaps borrowing from just one of them would be too dangerous. But if both of them lent him half, that would leave room for negotiation and wouldn't offend either of them. Furthermore, owing money to two beautiful women with transcendent statuses shouldn't be a bad thing. HMPH. Slick. Bidang Rushuang snorted, but she was able to accept this condition. As for Nangong Zuayu, she didn't display any reaction. She simply handed over a jade bottle to Long Chen. Long Chen accepted the bottle with his thanks. He carefully opened it for a look and saw 50 semi-transparent water droplets. Each droplet had a tiny dragon swimming within it, and a burst of pure natural energy came out of the bottle when he opened it. This was the Peak Dao Transformation Dragon Saliva. Long Chen's left and right hands shook at the same time. Lai Long and Huo Long actually sent him a message at the same time, requesting this Peak Dao Transformation Dragon Saliva. It was very beneficial to them. This was an extremely precious natural treasure, something that had only existed in the ancient era. In the current martial heaven continent, it was almost impossible for it to appear again. Endure it. Once I'm stronger, I'll definitely help you get more of it. Long Chen could only comfort the two of them like this. Lai Long and Huo Long were both intelligent enough to understand, but they couldn't help begging him for it. That meant that it was extremely important to them. What? Are you hesitating? Bidang Rushuang also handed over her portion, only to find him staring at the bottle in a daze. He looked conflicted. I'm suddenly not willing to part with it. 
the peak Tao transformation dragon saliva is also useful to me, said Long Chen bitterly. Bidang Rushuang was speechless. For good or bad, you are the top genius of your generation. Can you have more integrity and be decisive? Ah, rich people don't know the struggles of the starving people. Fine, I'll carry out the trade. So don't look down on me. Long Chen could only painfully hand those two bottles to the attendant of the Dongfang family. The attendant smiled, thinking that Long Chen was just acting poor to tease the two peerless women beside him. She didn't know that Long Chen was truly poor. All right, then this star refining furnace is now yours. You don't even need to check it, asked Long Chen. No need. I trust the characters of Fairy Rushuang and Fairy Zuayu, Long Chen asked. Does it mean that you don't trust my character? Ah, if I had known this would happen, I would have faked the two bottles of Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva and kept the real stuff. Ah, so sad. I didn't think of that. Long Chen. Long Chen's regretful expression seemed to say that he could have stolen the Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva and then blame the two of them for it, making Bidang Rushuang angry. Long Chen hastily waved his hand. Ah, it was just a joke. Am I, Long Chen, such a person? So since the pill furnace is mine now, can I have it? This platform was restricted. Others couldn't touch what was inside. Of course, it's yours now. However, the divine light barrier will take an incense stick's worth of time to dissipate. I've already started the process. So please wait a moment, answered the attendant. An incense stick's worth of time was a short time. But Long Chen was filled with too much anticipation to wait. He could openly sense just how amazing this pill furnace was. The starry images on top of the pill furnace filled him with emotion. His hands were already getting itchy. To the side, Bidang Rushuang frowned. Just how was it possible that Long Chen didn't have any of the mannerisms of an expert? All his emotions were written on his face, and that lacked any of the charms of a supreme expert. She even suspected that she had made a mistake. Had she wasted her money by lending him the 50 drops of Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva? A star refining furnace actually managed to sell for a hundred drops of Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva. How unexpected at this moment. A mocking voice rang out. Long Chen looked back to see a man walking over. Zhao Wuji, this pool furnace was yours. Bidang Rushuang's frown deepened. She hadn't expected to have actually benefited Zhao Wuji. That irritated her. This pill furnace was fundamentally not worth that price. But since Long Chen wanted it and she wanted something from Long Chen, she had lent him the Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva. If her action benefited someone else, she was alright with it. But for Zhao Wuji to be the one getting an advantage over it made her feel disgusted. The mechanism sects people were trash but no one could do anything about them. Mr. Zhao, you came at the perfect time. The transaction has already been completed. This is yours. The attendant handed over the two bottles to Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji received the bottles, and upon looking inside, he smiled. He took out a drop of the Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva. Grabbing the attendant's hand, he placed a drop of it into her hand, smiling. This is my thanks. You really are my lucky star. A broken furnace was actually bought by an idiot. Ha ha ha. Mr. Zhao. You can't the attendant felt chills at being grabbed by Zhao Wuji. She had long since heard of Zhao Wuji's infamy. As for the drop of Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva, it was too precious for her to accept. Since I, Zhao Wuji, wish to give it to you. Why can't I? Zhao Wuji pressed the drop into her hand, touching her hand much longer than he needed to. Seemingly without realizing it Novaloon.com the attendant turned red out of embarrassment. Fortunately, Zhao Wuji didn't go too far before letting go. Just at this moment, the divine light protecting the pill furnace dissipated. Zhao Wuji looked at the pill furnace and then smiled at Long Chen. You are Long Chen, correct? Perhaps you don't know who I am, but that's not important. I should tell you that this pill furnace is a garbage furnace that cannot be used to refine pills. In other words, your 100 drops of Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva were wasted. Hearing that, Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang's expressions changed. It's fine. In any case, it wasn't my money. Long Chen smiled and reached out to touch the pill furnace. 
As soon as he touched it, a majestic medicinal energy poured into his body. It was even stronger than he had expected. However, when he reached toward the lid, he was startled. He wasn't able to move it. Could the furnace not be opened? Ha ha ha. Now do you understand? There's no way to open the pill furnace. It possesses its own locking runes. And without understanding how to open it, it's just a decoration. As for the name, the Star Refining Furnace, it's something I came up with. Who knows where this stupid furnace came from? An unopenable furnace actually got me 100 drops of Peak Tao Transformation Dragon Saliva. Just thinking about it makes me laugh. Zhao Wuji was incredibly pleased. If you didn't know its origins, how could you take it out to sell? Zhao Wuji, you're incredibly shameless, said Bidang Rushuang frostily. Shameless? How am I shameless? I simply brought out my treasure to sell, and I didn't make anyone buy it. For an idiot to buy it without understanding it, it can only be said that he's blind. He killed disciples of my mechanism sect. So this is just the first step of my retribution, said Zhao Wuji indifferently. Only then did Long Chen understand why Zhao Wuji felt such hostility toward him. So he was actually from the mechanism sect one of the people Long Chen had killed was from the mechanism sect. And he had detonated his Yuan spirit in order to send word back to the mechanism sect hands. Zhao Wuji definitely knew what had happened. What? Are your people allowed to kill others, but others aren't allowed to kill them? Demanded Long Chen. Long Chen, don't try to act innocent. Someone stole my mechanism sect's flying boat, and you were nearby. For the disciples present to feel suspicious of you is only natural. If you had simply revealed your identity, everyone could have properly discussed it and avoided a confrontation. But you, Long Chen, like to bully others, and hiding who you were, you killed those disciples. You've offended the dignity of the mechanism sect, and you'll have to pay a painful price, idiot. Long Chen spat out a single word in response, making Zhao Wuji's expression turn even colder. He began to walk closer to Long Chen. Long Chen ignored Zhao Wuji as if he didn't see him. He was focused on the pill furnace. Mr. Zhao, this place is the Dongfang family. The attendant's expression changed. If she allowed Zhao Wuji to fight Long Chen here, things would take a bad turn. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang just watched indifferently not feeling worried at all. They knew that Zhao Wuji did not dare to actually fight here. Long Chen's divine sense slowly entered the furnace, and he sensed the majestic energy shuddering within. That energy made Long Chen feel increasingly delighted. This time, he had definitely profited. So Long Chen, do you want to kill yourself now? Zhao Wuji pointed at Long Chen and shouted coldly. This was an extremely arrogant and insulting action. Scram. Without even thinking about it, Long Chen slapped Zhao Wuji in the face. Nangong Zuiyu, Bidang Rushuang, and the attendant only saw a blur before Long Chen's hand struck Zhao Wuji's face. Zhao Wuji was instantly sent flying. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang covered their mouths in disbelief. Although Zhao Wuji was trash as a person, everyone had to admit that he was a terrifying existence. In his generation, practically no one had dared to ever provoke him. Although it hadn't reached the point that he had ruled over the continent, he had definitely become a nightmare for countless experts. That was why he was qualified to be invited here, because he had the power to stand beside the other peak geniuses of their times. Even Nangong Zuiyu had described him as terrifying to Long Chen. That was enough to show just how powerful he was. However, to handle Zhao Wuji, all Long Chen did was slap him in the face. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang were stunned. The attendant of the Dongfang family hastily crushed a jade tablet. The reason that Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang were so shocked was because in that instant, it had felt like time had come to a stop and space had frozen. Long Chen's slap had contained its own kind of law. Before anyone realized what was happening, it was already over. Most importantly, Long Chen's slap was incredibly beautiful flowing naturally like water. A slap was clearly a lackluster move but had been developed into a divine art by Long Chen. After this slap, Long Chen's expression changed. His hand was now bloody, and there were dozens of tiny holes that had pierced into his hand. Then he looked at Zhao Wuji. The right side of his face was covered in a layer of scales. 
Those scales were filled with tiny needle points like barbs. There was blood dripping down, but that blood was Long Chen's. Those barbs still had some of his flesh hanging to them. Zhao Wuji was infuriated. The inside of his mouth was bloody, so he had his mouth shut tightly. Half his teeth had been knocked out, but he silently swallowed them. This slap of Long Chen's had come too suddenly for him to react. His armor had come out automatically to counter Long Chen's attack, but its reaction had been slow. This was a terrifying kind of armor that could block attacks that he couldn't sense, and it was what he had relied on to dominate the continent back in his era. However, this amazing armor had lost its effectiveness today. It had only started to counterattack after being struck. This was something that had never happened to him before. How vile. There's actually poison. Long Chen snorted and swung his hand. His palm, which had already started turning black, had most of its flesh fly off. At the same time, the primal chaos space's life energy surged toward his hand, instantly healing it. Long Chen was shocked inside. His divine face slapping art was his peerless technique. It had actually been half blocked this time. If Zhao Wuji's scaled armor hadn't appeared at the last moment, this slap would have destroyed half his head. Long Chen, since you want to die, I'll help you out. Zhao Wuji roared furiously, killing intent instantly locking onto Long Chen. Halt. A cold and clear voice rang out and a white-robed man appeared. At the same time, countless other figures also rushed over, drawn by the disturbance. The white-robed man was the Dongfang family's supreme genius, Dongfang Yuyang. Dongfang Yuyang had originally been busy handling other matters. However, having received an alarm from this region, he had immediately rushed over, only to see the bloody Zhao Wuji and the icy Long Chen. As soon as Dongfang Yuyang arrived, the attendant explained everything that had happened with divine sense. Dongfang Yuyang, didn't you say that this was a gathering of heroes with grand hearts? Then how did that idiot end up coming here? Are you sure that this is the gathering of past and present heroes demanded Long Chen? Originally, the reason why Long Chen didn't feel like coming here was because he didn't want to encounter idiots like this, but Dongfang Yuyang had reassured him that there wouldn't be. As a result, before the gathering even truly began, he had encountered this Zhao Wuji. He was extremely irritated. Could it be that he was a natural magnet for idiots? Seeing Dongfang Yuyang. The other experts nodded to him in greeting. On the other hand, upon seeing Zhao Wuji, an expression of disgust appeared on their faces, but there was also some fear. As for their reaction when they saw Long Chen, they looked a bit surprised. They hadn't expected that a genius from the current generation would be so brazen as to attack Zhao Wuji here. That wasn't giving Dong Fang Yuyang any face. Brother Long, calm down. I already understand what happened. I will deal with it. Dongfang Yuyang cupped his fists to Long Chen before facing Zhao Wuji. Brother Zhao, this place is my Dongfang family. Don't you think your actions are a bit inappropriate? It was clearly Long Chen who was the bully and attacked first. Zhao Wuji's expression sank. A trade was carried out fairly. So why did you have to insult others? Long Chen bought your item, but you deliberately insulted him. Is such conduct worthy of a generation's top genius? Isn't pointing your finger at other people's faces a provocation? I gave you an invitation because we are all outstanding talents of the Martial Heaven Continent's cultivation world. I thought that after being sealed for so many years, your heart would have calmed down. But you've disappointed me. The coming of the Qi Flow eruption indicates that the Dark Era is approaching. If we continue fighting amongst ourselves, the world will no longer exist. Your enmity with Long Chen did not start here in my Dongfang family, so don't bring your enmity in. If you don't give Long Chen an explanation today, then sorry, I can only ask you to leave. Long Chen was surprised. He hadn't expected Dongfang Yuyang to be so daring. He was actually treating Zhao Wuji like this. Now, Long Chen felt a little better. The other experts were also surprised, not expecting Dongfang Yuyang to care so much about Long Chen an expert from the current declined era. Zhao Wuji's expression changed several times. In the end, he surprisingly said, Long Chen, I apologize. I shouldn't have been so rude to you. However, this matter is separate. I was wrong just now. 
but I will still have to make you pay your debt for killing disciples of my mechanism sect. Prepare yourself, because once you leave the Dongfang family, I, Zhao Wuji, will cut off your head. Although it was an apology, his position was clear. This apology was just giving face to Dongfang Yuyang. He wouldn't attack Long Chen here. But as soon as Long Chen left the Dongfang family, Zhao Wuji would have no more misjivings. This way, he was giving the Dongfang family face and preserving his own face. It was also his challenge to Long Chen, which Long Chen couldn't refuse. As long as Long Chen had the slightest dignity, he would have to accept this challenge. Otherwise, his reputation would plummet. It could be said that this move of Zhao Wuji's was quite brilliant. All the experts that had been drawn overlooked at Long Chen, only to see him smiling. The world is already filled with my enemies. Adding you in or not doesn't matter. If you want to fight, I'll accompany you. Good. I was worried you would hide in the Dongfang family's residence for a lifetime. Let us have our fight when the time comes, sneered Zhao Wuji. Seeing Long Chen and Zhao Wuji agree to have a fight so quickly, the experts present couldn't help being a bit surprised. This was a battle between two top geniuses from the ancient era and the current era. One of them might fall. As Long Chen was an expert from this declined era, people felt that the infamous Zhao Wuji had better odds of winning. Many people had already seen Long Chen's trump cards, and they knew of his background. In comparison, the mechanism sect might be a tumor in the cultivation world, but it had existed for countless years. Long Chen, you shouldn't agree to fight him. You can't imagine just how terrifying he is. Nangong Zuiyu sent him a message via divine sense. Long Chen, you're being too hot-headed. Although this person is trash, he's sinister and powerful. Even we wouldn't want to fight him. Bidang Rushuang also sent him a message. However, Long Chen's answer had come too quickly for them to stop. Long Chen simply smiled, not feeling any pressure. Long Chen placed the pill furnace on the ground. Looking at Zhao Wuji, he said, Didn't you say that this pill furnace was a garbage furnace? Actually, I really pity you. Young people are really blind. I'll let you see what a true treasure is, and just how blind you are. After saying that, Long Chen reached for the lid. Everyone's gaze is locked onto his hand. Long Chen's actions startled the surrounding people. It seemed that there was some trick to the pill furnace. This pill furnace had belonged to Zhao Wuji. Considering his crafty character, he definitely wouldn't let anyone benefit at his expense. For Long Chen to not reach out to the lid, even these peerless experts were curious. Zhao Wuji's heart skipped a beat. This pill furnace had been researched within his mechanism sect for countless years. They had confirmed that it could not be opened, which was why he had brought it out to con someone into buying it. Long Chen's confident expression made him feel a bit uneasy. But he still put on a cold smile. The mechanism sect is an outsider to the Tao of alchemy. For such a treasure to fall into your hands was a true waste. Long Chen pressed his hand against the pill furnace. But then he didn't open it. Bidang Rushuang smiled faintly. Long Chen definitely wasn't a good person either to deliberately keep people in suspense. Now people wanted to know the secret of the pill furnace even more. Keep acting mysterious. This furnace has been in the mechanism sect's hands for thousands of years, and countless powerful alchemists have come to investigate it. All of them came to the conclusion that once the pill furnace's original master died, the pill furnace sealed itself and can no longer be opened. Those alchemists had a cultivation base in the heavens and a skill level you can only look up to. I heard that you know a bit about alchemy? He, can your superficial knowledge justify your arrogance? Laughable sneered Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji immediately came to the conclusion that Long Chen was faking upon seeing him try to increase the suspense. Being older doesn't mean being smarter. Idiots can live for many years. Do you think by refining a few garbage pills, one is enough to be called a grand master? Long Chen smiled and patted the furnace. Let me tell you, this furnace's name truly is the Star Refining Furnace. However, its full name is the Moon and Star Refining Furnace. Its name is carved in its three feet and two handles. But they are immemorial immortal characters. So you can't recognize them. You saw the stars covering it. So you called it the Star Refining Furnace. 
but did you not see that its two handles are like two crescent moons? Long Chen raised the moon and star refining furnace, having it float in the air. At that time, everyone saw that there were some ancient characters written where Long Chen had said them to be. Everyone had thought those to be divine runes, not immemorial immortal characters. Their expressions changed upon hearing that these were immemorial immortal characters, characters from the time of legends. There was practically no one who could recognize them. As for the immortal characters, they could be considered in between the immemorial immortal characters and the current era's characters. Some immortal characters could not be expressed with the current era's writing. In order to understand what was being said, you needed to learn them. But due to the passing of time, many inheritances had been lost, and there was no way to recognize all the immortal characters written. In other words, the current martial heaven continent already had enough difficulty understanding immortal characters. As for immemorial immortal characters from the time of legends, they were too profound. They contained the essence of heaven and earth. You. Can you understand immemorial immortal characters? Asked Bidang Rushuang. Shocked. She had a new opinion of Long Chen. I wouldn't dare to say such a thing. I only know a few characters. And it just so happens that I recognize these ones. Said Long Chen. Now everyone was truly shocked. To be able to recognize these five characters meant that Long Chen's understanding of immemorial immortal characters was definitely not as simple as a few characters. The most shocked of everyone present were Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. Based on their previous conversations with Long Chen, they felt that although he might have some talent, he was like a marketplace rogue. They hadn't expected him to have hidden himself so well. Even the two of them with their immense experience had been fooled. In truth, Long Chen wasn't so modest. He truly did only recognize these five immemorial immortal characters, and he had just learned them. These five characters had been told to him by the moon and star refining furnace. Just now, when his divine sense had merged into the furnace, the furnace had given him some information. Geniuses sought treasures, but treasures also sought the right masters. There was a certain destiny between them that sometimes could not be forced. This furnace had an immense origin. As soon as Long Chen had seen it, he had liked it. As for the sealed furnace, due to Long Chen's arrival, it began to slowly awaken. Brother Long's wisdom is inspiring. If it's convenient, I hope to be able to learn more from you. Dong Fang Yuyang praised Long Chen. Brother Yuyang is too courteous. I really only know a few immemorial immortal characters, and it just so happened that these five are within that little bit said Long Chen. He couldn't show off too much, or he wouldn't be able to pull it back. If Dong Fang Yuyang asked him to translate some ancient scripture, it would be embarrassing, laughable. Not a single person present would dare to say that they recognize immemorial immortal characters. Do you think we'll believe your nonsense? Even if no one calls you out for it, without any proof, everything you say is meaningless, said Zhao Wuji. Not bad. You finally said something not stupid. Arguing over the name is truly meaningless. After all, even if I was lying, no one would know. Then let's look at this. The furnace floating in front of Long Chen suddenly began to light up. Its starry images started to move like the workings of the cosmos, containing the very essence of the world. This furnace had originally been a dead object and had only possessed some divine aura without any spirituality. It had been a corpse. But now, it was like it had been awoken from a long slumber. The air of primal chaos began to surge out of it as it revolved. Now even Zhao Wuji was dumbfounded. This furnace had been in his mechanism sect for so many years. Countless experts had done everything they could, but they hadn't managed to use it. But now, it actually awoke. Although Zhao Wuji was not an alchemist, even as an outsider, he could sense that majestic energy, even if it was used for fighting. This furnace would count as a top-grade divine item. The value of this furnace should have been around 30 to 40 drops of peak Tao transformation dragon saliva. Offering it for 100 drops was actually cheating the buyer. Zhao Wuji hadn't thought that anyone would really buy it. He had just taken it out because after being asked by the attendant of the Dongfang family if he wanted to put anything up, he had felt that not taking out something good would result in him being looked down upon. He wouldn't sell his own good stuff. So this useless furnace had been his first choice. 
He hadn't expected it to awaken in Long Chen's hands. That filled him with regret. But it was too late for it. If he reneged on the deal, that would be offending the Dongfang family. Zhao Wuji's expression was dark. It was unknown what he was thinking. But he definitely wasn't thinking anything good. Didn't you say that this pill furnace couldn't be opened? Today, I'll open it for everyone to see. Keep your dog eyes open so you witness it clearly. Long Chen suddenly patted the pill furnace's lid, and a majestic spiritual strength poured into it. Eight dark red runes on top of the lid began to rapidly spin, forming a ring. Ripples began to spread, appearing strange and beautiful. Zhao Wuji's heartbeat quickened. If that lid really opened, then everything that Long Chen had said could not be called lies any longer. This pill furnace had really accepted Long Chen as its master. Zhao Wuji had actually sold such a treasure. Not only did that pain him, but it was proof that his mechanism sect was blind, unable to use such a treasure. Everyone's gazes were concentrated on the furnace. Long Chen glanced at Zhao Wuji with an evil smile. Suddenly, the lid opened and a black light shot out without any warning. Even these peerless geniuses couldn't react. The black light shot in Zhao Wuji's direction. Zhao Wuji instinctively dodged, but he was still one step too slow. He was struck by the black light. That black light was like smoke, but it was odorless. It didn't cause any negative effects once struck. However, then he saw everyone's dumbfounded gazes when they looked at him. Nangong Zuiyu's expression was odd. Something that looked like she wanted to smile but was too reserved to do so. She quickly turned away. As for Bidang Rushuang, she didn't mind showing her bright smile. Zhao Wuji swept himself with his divine sense and found that after being enveloped by that black smoke, his whole body had turned pitch black. Other than his eyes, everything else was the same shade of black. Long Chen, Zhao Wuji roared furiously. There was no way he would believe that this was a coincidence. Sorry, I had no idea such a thing would happen. But for you to be the one struck when there are so many people around, you can only blame your own luck. Long Chen sighed helplessly. Seeing Zhao Wuji's miserable state and then the wicked mirth in Long Chen's eyes, everyone was clear in their hearts that Long Chen had done it on purpose. However, the black smoke had suddenly burst out of the pill furnace. How could Long Chen know that such a thing would happen? People couldn't help being amazed. Zhao Wuji was infuriated, but there was nothing he could do. He changed his robes, only to find that his hands and face could not be cleaned. It was like black dye had sunk into his flesh. Long Chen, what did you do? Roared Zhao Wuji. He felt like he was going crazy. For a peak genius like him to be forced into such a state, just how was he supposed to show himself in public? Wouldn't he just be a laughing stock? Ah, it was just an accident. There must be something inside the pill furnace that we didn't expect. Long Chen smiled. All of a sudden, a strange fluctuation appeared, which caused the entire world to twist and every expert's expression to change. Chapter 2070 Pill Lightning As the lid of the furnace was opened, heaven and earth changed color. The originally clear sky instantly became covered in black clouds. Those were tribulation clouds that whirled above Long Chen. This is tribulation the experts present were startled. There was thunder force gathering within those black clouds, looking like a heavenly tribulation. There's a pill inside the furnace. People finally noticed a single pill within the furnace. It was covered in flowing lines that emitted endless medicinal fragrance. One sniff and it refreshed their bodies, opening all their pores. There was a strange fluctuation coming out of the pill, and it relaxed their yuan spirits. They couldn't say what it was exactly, but it was an excellent feeling. Although no one here was an alchemist other than Long Chen, even these outsiders knew that any medicinal pill that had an effect on the soul or the Yuan spirit was incredibly precious. For a medicinal pill to draw heavenly tribulation upon coming out of the furnace, it had to at least be an 11th tier medicinal pill. Furthermore, not all 11th tier pills had that ability. Only the top grade ones could draw heavenly tribulation. It was said that powerful medicinal pills could disrupt the balance of the world. That was why when a powerful medicinal pill was born, the heavenly deos would try to destroy it. That was called pill lightning within the alchemy world. Most pill lightning wasn't actually powerful as it just wanted to destroy the pill. 
Attempting to hide the pill or stop the lightning by ordinary means would anger the tribulation and cause it to try to kill whoever that person was. The odds of an 11th tier medicinal pill surviving pill lightning were less than 10%. Furthermore, the lightning tribulation scale and fluctuations were essentially on the same level as an ordinary Empyrean's life star tribulation. That was a bit frightening. How could a little medicinal pill resist such a heavenly tribulation? Although the people present were all supreme experts, they had never seen a medicinal pill undergo tribulation. Brother Long, do you need help? I can activate the grand formation to screen this place from the heavenly tribulation, said Dong Fang Yuyang. Many thanks, but if a medicinal pill doesn't undergo its tribulation, it will lack spirituality. It will require a formation to build its spirituality, and such a thing requires hundreds or thousands of years. Even then, it won't be as good as a pill that properly goes through its tribulation. I'll go and carry out this tribulation outside. Sorry for the trouble. Long Chen flew off, bringing the furnace and pill with him. Flying within someone else's territory was definitely rude, but with the tribulation descending, Long Chen couldn't run away on his feet in time. Everyone, don't worry, let's all go watch. To tell the truth, this is my first time seeing a divine pill undergo tribulation as well. I'd like to see it. Dong Fang Yuyang smiled and followed Long Chen. The others had their misjivings put at ease and also followed. Long Chen left the city, finding an empty place for the tribulation. The tribulation clouds followed him. A bolt of lightning crashed down on Long Chen. More accurately, it was aiming for the pill inside the furnace. That bolt of lightning was like a three-meter-thick lightning sword that struck the pill. It exploded on contact, unleashing a ripple of lightning. A serious expression appeared in Bidang Rushuang's eyes. This attack had been almost equivalent to the attack of an Empyrean. No wonder top-tier 11th-tier medicinal pills were so precious. Having them undergo tribulation was truly difficult. Such a pill should not exist in this world. Refining an 11th tier medicinal pill was extremely difficult. As for refining a top grade 11th tier pill, it was as difficult as ascending the heavens. An alchemist that could refine a normal 11th tier medicinal pill was rare, let alone the one capable of refining a top grade 11th tier pill. They were as rare as phoenix feathers or killin horns. Normally, if an alchemist managed to refine an 11th tier medicinal pill, they would treat it as a treasure to be kept within the family. If they did manage to refine a top-grade 11th tier pill, they definitely wouldn't let it undergo tribulation. They would rather sacrifice some spirituality than take such a risk. The odds of failure were just too high. Nearly all top-grade 11th tier medicinal pills were kept away from their tribulations. They would be kept in formations that nourished them to make up for their deficiency. Even for peerless geniuses like them, this pill lightning was something that they had never witnessed before. Hence, they were watching very closely. The first strike of lightning didn't cause the furnace to shake in the slightest. That stunned people, while Zhao Wuji's expression grew increasingly ugly. However, with his black face, it had become difficult to tell his expression. The ripples of lightning spread, and the divine runes of the furnace lit up. Long Chen clearly saw thunder force pouring into the pill. The silent pill seemed to come to life as it absorbed the thunder force. It was like the Thunder Force was bestowing it with spirituality. Legend was that top grade 11th tier medicinal pills had their own spirits, similar to divine items. They simply needed to be awakened with some kind of external power. Most people would use formations, using continuous nourishing effects over many years. A faster method was to allow it to undergo tribulation and have the natural energy of heaven and earth bestow it with spirituality then it would be complete in almost an instant. As for what principles were within this, no one on the continent knew. Rumbling rang out as more lightning swords fell, striking the furnace. However, the furnace was like a mountain or a stable boulder, showing just how strong it was. The furnace not only blocked the lightning, but it shattered it, absorbing a small portion and sending it into the pill. As the furnace was bathed in lightning, the pill slowly grew stronger. Rainbow lights began to appear in the sky. They were beautiful and mysterious. This spectacle enamored the experts. This was a beautiful and magical tribulation. Their eyes had truly been opened to the world. The lightning continued to crash down furiously. 
but the energy within the pill was gentle and constantly growing. Long Chen stood beside the furnace. The lightning completely ignored him. As the lightning grew stronger, the energy within the pill also grew accordingly. Suddenly, the furnace shuddered, and the pill actually jumped out of its own accord. It was like a baby bird that had decided it had grown up and was ready to leave the nest. Heaven and earth rumbled as the tribulation suddenly became several times more frantic. It was like a downpour of lightning. This has almost surpassed an ordinary Empyrean's life star tribulation. So pill lightning is actually so powerful. No wonder no one wants to do it. Sighed someone. A single pill's tribulation was already so powerful. That was truly unexpected. Suddenly, the pill unleashed a wave of rainbow light, which gradually condensed into a giant lotus flower. It was 30 meters wide and had nine petals. There was actually dew dripping off the petals. When the lightning struck the dew, it transformed into mist that revolved around the flower. Beautiful Bidang Rushuang couldn't help sighing in amazement. She had never seen such a thing. This was clearly a cruel heavenly tribulation, but it was beautiful enough to enchant her. The lightning continued to explode upon contact with the flower, and the aura of the flower continued to grow stronger. How can an 11th tier pill possess such power? said one of the experts. Eventually, the pill reached a level of power that dumbfounded these geniuses. They all possessed their own special backgrounds, and many of them had even consumed 11th tier pills. But those pills had not been so powerful. It's probably related to the furnace. Perhaps the furnace was sealed just to nourish that pill. Perhaps only by nourishing a pill for thousands or even tens of thousands of years is it possible to give birth to a pill capable of surviving its tribulation. Long Chen is an alchemist and definitely noticed something. That's why he's so brazen as to allow the pill to undergo tribulation. He really picked up a treasure. Sighed someone. This was top grade amongst top grade pills. The speaker couldn't help glancing at Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji's face was so ugly that it couldn't grow uglier. His face was stuck in that expression. As for what he was thinking, no one knew. A priceless pill furnace had actually contained a supreme top grade 11th tier medicinal pills, and Zhao Wuji had sold such treasures for a hundred drops of peak Dao transformation dragon saliva. Although that wasn't a low price, when compared to the value of these treasures, it was such a huge loss that could make a grown man cry on his mother's lap. Thinking of how Zhao Wuji had mocked Long Chen for buying a garbage furnace, Bidang Rushuang wanted to laugh. Perhaps Zhao Wuji was suicidal now. After mocking Long Chen, Zhao Wuji was first slapped and turned black by Long Chen. Then, the appearance of this top grade pill was a slap in the face of the entire mechanism sect. The sect was filled with blind fools unable to even tell a treasure from trash. Bidang Rushuang couldn't help being refreshed upon seeing Zhao Wuji suffer such a loss. However, she was even more amazed by Long Chen's vision. He definitely wasn't as simple as he appeared. His acting skills were incredible. The pill lightning continued for an incense stick's worth of time. Finally, the tribulation began to shrink, and people sighed emotionally. They had actually personally witnessed a top-grade 11th-tier medicinal pill successfully pass its pill tribulation. That was a fortunate thing. Just as the tribulation clouds were about to vanish, Long Chen suddenly grabbed the furnace and smashed the retreating clouds with it. What is he doing? Seeing his actions, everyone jumped in shock. Chapter 2071 The Nine Heavens Divine Phoenixes Huang Fi Ian When the black clouds in the sky had begun to scatter, it meant that the tribulation was about to end. Long Chen would have obtained a supreme top grade 11th tier medicinal pill. However, just as the tribulation was about to end, Long Chen actually grabbed the pill furnace. The furnace suddenly grew explosively, and he smashed it at the tribulation clouds. Boom. The tribulation clouds blew apart from Long Chen's blow. The experts present couldn't help gasping. Just what was Long Chen doing? As expected, the world shuddered. Heavenly might gathered as tribulation clouds filled the sky as far as the eye could see. Their pressure was ten times greater than before. What is Long Chen doing? Is he trying to destroy the medicinal pill? exclaimed Bidang Rushuang. She couldn't understand at all, and it wasn't just her. No one present knew what Long Chen was thinking by courting death like this. The sky split open, and lightning crashed down in the form of an executioner's blade. 
It fell straight toward Long Chen. Just at this moment, the lotus flower of light enveloping the pill suddenly appeared above Long Chen's head. The pill is actually protecting him. Startled cries rang out. This medicinal pill had actually accepted Long Chen as its master so quickly? How was that possible? Higher quality pills all had some level of spirituality, but they were mostly like wild magical beasts. As long as they had a chance, they would flee from or even consume their masters. However, this medicinal pill didn't attack Long Chen, nor did it flee. It actually helped Long Chen block the lightning. This was unbelievable. Zhao Wuji's black face was filled with envy. His eyes looked like they were burning. For a pill to protect its master like this was heaven defying. Its value was inestimable. The heavenly lightning raged. Berserk swords of lightning slashed at the lotus, causing the petals to constantly shake. However, it seemed that the lotus was more than capable of blocking it. Just as everyone was sighing in amazement over Long Chen's luck at picking up such a priceless treasure, the lotus flower actually exploded from the wild lightning. However, rainbow light flowed out of the pill once more, enveloping it and Long Chen, blocking the lightning. Enveloped in the light, Long Chen had his hands clasped behind his back, looking like the very picture of a calm expert. In reality though, he was so excited that he almost shouted. This pill was even more amazing than he had expected. This was his first time feeling that his luck was amazing. Could it be that the heavens had gone blind this time? After all, a medicinal pill's defensive abilities were naturally weak. That was why they were mostly destroyed by pill lightning. For this pill to be so powerful defensively meant that it was truly heaven defying. Unfortunately, the lightning that Long Chen had drawn was growing increasingly powerful. The medicinal pill was finally unable to endure any longer, and its defensive light shattered. Long Chen immediately grabbed the pill with his hand. The lightning immediately enveloped him. However, lightning runes appeared over Long Chen's body, forming a powerful armor that protected him. No wonder he dares to do this. He can control Thunder Force. People nodded, but they still didn't understand what Long Chen's goal was. To show that he could control Thunder Force? That didn't seem to be the case. Something as childish as that didn't suit him. If it wasn't that though, what other goal could he have? He had brought on even stronger lightning that the medicinal pill couldn't endure. That should have been within his expectations. Just what was he thinking? Bathed within the lightning. Long Chen didn't resist at all. He simply endured it silently. As the lightning crashed into him, it was absorbed by Lai Long. This was Long Chen's goal. This Thunder Force was very different from the Thunder Force of Cultivator Tribulations. He wanted Lai Long to absorb this different kind of energy and come to control it. Then he would be able to have his pills experience pill lightning without fear of destroying them. He simply held the pill. He couldn't put the pill away nor could he resist any further. That would change the nature of the tribulation. The nature of the lightning would also change. So Long Chen simply stood there while holding the pill, allowing the lightning to fall on him and be absorbed by Lai Long. After an incense stick's worth of time, the lightning finally slowed down. This time, Long Chen didn't continue attacking the tribulation. One reason was that Lai Long had managed to control this kind of energy and replicate pill lightning. The other reason was that if he attacked it again, its nature would completely change. It would be true heavenly punishment. The tribulation cloud scattered, and the world returned to calm. Dongfang Yuyang was the first to speak. Congratulations brother Long Chen. You've obtained a precious furnace and a precious pill. Fortune truly comes in pairs. You're too courteous. Actually, my luck has always been garbage. But my vision is just a bit better. I'm at least capable of telling trash from treasures, said Long Chen. Those humble words were completely betrayed by his pleased expression. Furthermore, his words contained hidden arrows for the mechanism sect and Zhao Wuji as they couldn't tell what a true treasure was. HMPH, even if you've obtained a treasure, you'll need a life to enjoy it. Long Chen, we'll see what the future brings. Zhao Wuji snorted and left. Zhao Wuji. Your eyes are baleful and your face is turning black. Based on my years of reading faces, I fear that a bloody calamity is about to befall you. I'd advise you to return to your home and hide for a while, said Long Chen. Zhao Wuji almost fell from the sky, grinding his teeth furiously. 
he acted like he hadn't heard and vanished from sight. Bidang Rushuang was quite delighted. Long Chen was the perfect kind of wicked to handle Zhao Wuji. She wondered whether Zhao Wuji would ever manage to fix his black face. If he couldn't, he would probably go crazy. He was quite a vain man, and although his looks were ordinary, he had some blind confidence in his looks. He probably wouldn't be able to face others with his current appearance. Dongfang Yuyang returned to the ancient city after expressing his congratulations. He had many things he was busy with right now. The other experts nodded slightly toward Long Chen before leaving. Long Chen, are you selling this pill? I can offer you a very moving price. As the other experts left, one woman walked forward. She wore a dress that was the red of blood, having a beauty mark between her eyebrows. She was both beautiful as well as haughty. She possessed a natural divine aura around her that made people too afraid to approach her. Long Chen looked at her with surprise. The woman was also surprised when she looked at him more closely. You have Azure Dragon Essence blood on you, and it's unbelievably pure. You're from the Xuan Beasts, probed Long Chen. This is Huang Fian of the Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix Race. 13,000 years ago, she swept through the continent. She is a grand and famous expert of the Xuan Beasts. Long Chen, I'm sure you've heard of her, said Bidang Rushuang. Bidang Rushuang said this kindly. Not only did she tell him this woman's identity, but it was also a warning. After all, Long Chen's relationship with the Xuan Beasts was not good. Long Chen's heart shook. Huang Fiyang's origins were truly great. Legend was that the Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix race was the descendant of the ancient Divine Beasts. They had inherited some terrifying divine abilities. Since ancient times, there had always been a saying that phoenixes and dragons were auspicious symbols. But when Huang Fian approached him, Long Chen felt some hostility. His dragon blood automatically activated. Let's return to my question. Are you selling this pill? Huang Fian didn't seem to want to discuss herself and asked once again. There was a haughty air about her, as if she was used to ordering people around. No matter how she suppressed that, Long Chen could sense it. Sorry, I'm not selling this pill. One of my lovers needs this pill, said Long Chen. This pill had the effect of nourishing the soul, and it was definitely the perfect treasure for Meng Qi. It was just as important to her as the furnace was to Long Chen. Huang Fian frowned slightly. This pill is very useful to me. I hope you can sell it to me. Although her words were tactful enough, her tone was filled with arrogance. Clearly, she did not accept Long Chen's refusal. This pill is even more useful to my lover. Sorry, I hope you won't make things hard on me said Long Chen. After being refused twice, Huang Fian's expression became colder. She nodded. All right, I understand. Huang Fian turned and walked away. However, midway, she turned back. I heard you're very close with the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race? I should warn you to do your best to distance yourself from those traitors, or you won't have a good ending. Chapter 2072 Even more domineering Huang Fian's words sounded like a threat, but they were clearly a show of force. Long Chen's fury immediately soared. What heavenly geniuses from the ancient era. What unrivaled heroes. That was pure nonsense. This so-called hero tried to force him to sell his treasure and then threatened him. Ha ha ha. Long Chen suddenly laughed his voice full of disdain. He icily told Huang Fian, I've never accepted any threats in my life. I'll welcome any challenge, even if you want to fight right now. Listen well, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race is my alley, and if anyone touches a single one of their feathers, I will annihilate their whole race. You can treat my words as just bragging, but when my blade falls on you, don't blame me for not warning you. Long Chen was truly enraged. She was actually treating him like some pushover with her naked threats. Did she want to play such a game with him? Long Chen's words had no pretense to them, so there was no need for Huang Fian to give him any face either. She laughed. Ha ha ha. Good. You really are arrogant. Since ancient times, no one has had the guts to say that they would exterminate the Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix race. Long Chen, you're just a brat from a declined era. Do you think you can compare to us, the heavenly geniuses of the ancient era? Here, I will give Dongfang Yuyang face and not kill you. Hopefully, 
You can escape from Zhao Wuji because I want to personally cut off your head and then see if you can still talk so big. Huang Fian was also enraged. This was her first time having one of her requests denied, so her mood was bad. There was also a deep enmity between the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race and the nine heavens divine phoenix race. For her to give a warning was already not bad, but her tone had been overbearing, and Long Chen never accepted threats. Seeing sparks flying between Long Chen and Huang Fian, Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang were startled. Long Chen really was fiery enough. His temper came just like that without any warning. The two of them didn't know how to advise him about this. This enmity stemmed from the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows, and since Long Chen was so protective of them, there was no way to resolve this. All right, then I'll await you. Remember, when you attack me, I'll consider you my enemy, and I'm never soft hearted toward my enemies. That's all I have to say, said Long Chen. He took a deep breath, suppressing his anger. He had an urge to attack this woman right now. HMPH, do your best to enjoy your final moments in this world, snorted Huang Fian before leaving. Long Chen, why bother? I already warned you that this girl is very prideful. Her temper also isn't good because she's from the Xuan Beasts. No one wants to provoke her, but you just had to. Bidang Rushuang shook her head. If Long Chen had just been a bit more tactful, perhaps this matter could have passed without any threats. Long Chen shook his head. Miss Bidang, you grew up in a powerful family and have a powerful backer. If you endure it, the storm will pass. If you take half a step back, the sea and sky will open for you. Such a thing can only occur thanks to your background. If you take a step back, others will also take a step back. But if I take a step back, They'll take three steps forward, forcing me to my death. If I sold her this pill, do you think she would let off the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race? No. So why should I sell it to her? Not selling it to her makes her immediately turn to hostile threats? Is that the style of a so-called unrivaled heavenly genius? I really look down on such people. This gathering of past and present heroes is garbage. Fortunately, I met the two of you or this gathering would have lost all its luster for me, Long Chen sighed. In the end, it was Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu that had made the best impression on him of this entire gathering. Don't think that praising me has any use. The Peak Dao transformation dragon saliva that I lent you won't be paid off with just a few words, warned Bidang Rushuang. Through their observations, they had come to the conclusion that Long Chen was actually a very simple person. He said whatever he thought about without hiding anything. He was direct and coarse, but easy to get to know. Do you think that I'm a person who reneges on debts? However, I've heard that once a person dies, their debt vanishes. In other words, if I die, that peaked out transformation dragon saliva you lent me will be gone. So perhaps the two of you should consider giving me some protection. Otherwise, you'll suffer a loss. Long Chen laughed. The 50 drops of peak Dao transformation dragon saliva might be precious, but it's not precious enough for us to have to act that way. To tell the truth, if it was really so precious, I wouldn't have lent it to you, said Nangong Zuaya with a smile, making Long Chen give up on that thought. The loss of what they had lent him wasn't so grave. Hear that? The peak Dao transformation dragon saliva might be huge to you, but it's nothing to us. At the very least. It's not worth me personally being a bodyguard for you, snorted Bidang Rushuang. All right, I won't joke around anymore. Thank you for your help. I'll definitely repay this favor, said Long Chen, cupping his fists. HMPH, now you're acting more like a normal person. You've obtained a great furnace and pill. It looked like Zhao Wuji was about to die from rage. Bidang Rushuang laughed. When she smiled, huge waves appeared on her chest causing Long Chen's throat to become dry. Her body was truly fiery, especially in that skin-tight black leather. Right now, he was close enough to touch those waves. What are you looking at? Bidang Rushuang's laughter suddenly vanished. Cough. Bidang Rushuang's heart is just so generous. You're a perfect model for me, said Long Chen, hastily retracting his gaze. Hearing the double meaning behind his words, Bidang Rushuang blushed slightly. 
Long Chen was the first person who dared to tease her like this without being cut down by her. Although he was teasing her and had a slippery tongue, she didn't see any malice in his eyes. He couldn't be lumped together with those perverts. Long Chen, can you show me that pill? To tell you the truth, this is my first time seeing a pill undergo tribulation. I'm very curious about it, said Bidang Rushuang. Here, Long Chen handed over the pill. He pulled his hand back before touching her hand. Bidang Rushuang didn't notice, but Nangong Zuayu did. She smiled slightly. Long Chen acted like a scoundrel but was a gentleman inside, while the majority of people were the opposite. So beautiful praised Bidang Rushuang. The pill was still shining brightly, and there were lotus flower images that appeared and faded. Occasionally, rainbow light would begin to shine from it and then fade. It was like the workings of heaven and earth were contained within it. It was also like the cycle of the sun, moon, and stars. If you agree to fight me, I'll let you have a look too. How's that? Bidang Rushuang suddenly covered the pill with her hand and placed it behind her back, not letting Nangong Zuayu get a good look. Long Chen was speechless. How was it that Bidang Rushuang had such a mature body? but her head hadn't matured with it. Nangong Zuayu brushed it off with a smile. I'm not a match for you. Fighting with you would just be inviting humiliation to myself. So I won't agree. Bidang Rushuang sighed and handed the pill to Nangong Zuayu, as if she had just been playing around. Nangong Zuayu said a word of thanks as she received it. Looking closely at the pill, she murmured, there are fluctuations of the soul drawing lotus. That's an ancient plant one that soul cultivators would dream of possessing. After being nourished for countless years, this pill has even awakened its spirituality through pill lightning. Its value is inestimable. Miss Nangong's knowledge is amazing. This pill is called the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill, with the soul drawing lotus being one of its main ingredients. It is refined with nine lotuses as the core ingredients, with 72 secondary ingredients. The soul drawing lotus is the most important of the nine lotuses and takes the main position. That's why it has such a strong effect on the soul. This pill is not to be eaten, but to be kept beside you as you cultivate. It will purify and strengthen your spiritual strength. Eating it would be like killing the chicken to get the eggs. As for that woman from the nine heavens divine phoenix race, her soul is much weaker than her body. She is probably unable to lock down opponents on the same level with her divine abilities due to that spiritual weakness. That's why she wants this pill, to make up for this weakness of the Shwen beasts. How laughable, does she think that my treasures are to be used to strengthen my enemies? Long Chen sneered upon thinking of Huang Fian. The Shwen beasts really didn't have any brains. Just why would he sell it to her? Nangong Zuayu handed the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill back after appreciating it. With no one else around, Bidang Rushuang took a deep breath. Long Chen, there's something I want to ask you. I hope you can give me a serious response. Chapter 2073 Sovereign Zi Yang I know what you want to ask. You're making things difficult for me. Long Chen sighed apologetically, disappointing Bidang Rushuang. Before she could say anything. He continued, to tell the truth, your looks, talent, and experience are definitely better than mine, but my heart has already been taken, and I simply cannot marry you. Long Chen's sad and regretful expression made Nangong Zuayu smile, while Bidang Rushuang was first startled, and then her expression grew increasingly odd. Long Chen, can you not be so narcissistic? I, Bidang Rushuang, have seen countless amazing figures. I'm not lacking suitors to the point that I need to marry you. Bidang Rushuang was scornful. Ah, so you weren't asking for my heart? Why didn't you say so? You scared me. Long Chen immediately acted relieved from a great burden. Bidang Rushuang took a deep breath, clenching her teeth. She said, Long Chen, count yourself lucky that you weren't born in my generation. Otherwise, if you said such a thing, I'd beat you senseless. Bidang Rushuang was enraged but Long Chen's expression seemed to be somewhere between serious and joking, making her unable to unleash her wrath. If not for that, Bidang Rushuang would have long since taught a lesson to the thick-faced Long Chen. All right, since you've said that, I'm at ease. Whatever you want to know, just ask. Whether or not I know the answer, I will definitely tell you, said Long Chen. 
How will you tell me the answer if you don't know it? Asked Bidang Rushuang. I'll make something up. Long Chen shrugged. Bidang Rushuang glared, while Nangong Zuiyu laughed inside, although she didn't show that on the outside. Without them even being aware of it, he had managed to close the distance between them, making them drop their guard. For someone like Bidang Rushuang to treat a man like this so quickly, perhaps only Long Chen possessed that ability. Be serious. I heard you received Sovereign Yun Chang's inheritance? Don't misunderstand. I'm not trying to pry into your secrets. I just want to know what you know about Sovereign Yun Chang, said Bidang Rushuang. Hearing this, Nangong Zuiyu said, The two of you can chat. I still have things to do, so I won't accompany you. No, there's no need to leave. There's nothing secret about this. You're both my creditors now, so let's find a place to chat. It just so happens that I'd like to ask for your teachings about many areas. Long Chen hastily stopped her. He knew that Nangong Zuiyu had more scruples compared to someone like Bidang Rushuang who didn't seem to care so much about such things. The three of them found a secluded place. Long Chen took out a tent and set up a grill. He began roasting a scarlet blood spirit fish. He also took out a jug of wine and poured some for the two of them. There was a certain appeal to sitting within the forest, witnessing the endless desert with fish and wine in hand. Even Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu felt this scenario to be very good. They felt less inhibited than they had in a long time. As Long Chen took charge of cooking the fish, Bidang Rushuang tasted the wine and immediately praised it. This was wine made by a female cultivator of the wine god palace and was particularly to a woman's taste. Furthermore, the accompanying mental realm contained within it made even Nangong Zuiyu drink a few more mouthfuls of it. Long Chen took out some plates and utensils. He handed over their portions of the fish and then drank a large mouthful of his wine. It was truly satisfying. After eating and drinking, the two women were filled with praise for Long Chen's skill, saying that even their best cooks couldn't make such tasty fish. Long Chen accepted their praise with a smile. He said if things took a bad turn in this world, he could always go to their homes and become a cook, causing Bidang Rushuang to laugh and say that he was welcome at any time. After a while, Bidang Rushuang asked the same question once again. Long Chen finished cooking two more fish and gave one each to the two of them. A sovereign's inheritance? It shouldn't count as much. We just said a few words and he gave me a blade. He didn't teach me anything. You actually spoke to Sovereign Yun Shang Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu both leaped to their feet. Bidang Rushuang almost dropping her fish. What Long Chen was startled, not expecting such a huge reaction. Are you sure you're not bragging? Bidang Rushuang first wished to confirm this. Long Chen's lip curled. Drinking some more wine, he said. What is there to brag about? Furthermore, can't you tell when I'm bragging? I really can't. It feels like only a few of the words that come out of your mouth are actually serious. Bidang Rushuang spoke the direct truth without giving Long Chen any face. On the other hand, Nangong Zuiyu was rather serious. Long Chen, you must not know. The sovereigns aren't just the strongest existences of the continent. Their origins are also extremely mysterious. Their sudden rises made them the blazing suns that lit up the continent. But after a moment of splendor, they silently vanished. No one knows where they went. No one knows if they still exist in this world. Even though our ancestors bore witness to the rising of the sovereigns, everything about them is still shrouded in mystery. Throughout history, some people have obtained legacies of the sovereigns and became remarkable figures. Those people were not called disciples of the sovereigns but substitutes who guarded the continent in their place. Even they only inherited the will of the sovereigns but never actually spoke or even saw them. That's why what you said is truly shocking. So there was actually such a thing? Then couldn't I brag about this for a lifetime? Long Chen's eyes widened. Stop messing around, or I really will beat you. Bidang Rushuang couldn't endure Long Chen's mouth any longer. Long Chen, we have to be respectful and grateful to the sovereigns. Don't joke about them, rebuked Nangong Zuiyu. She was a bit angry as Long Chen treated encountering a sovereign as a chip for bragging. Fine, I admit my mistake. Long Chen apologized directly. From his encounter with Sovereign Yun Shang, he had truly been filled with respect for him. 
That kind of transcendent figure had actually called him little brother without the slightest airs. Moreover, Long Chen didn't see any arrogance in his eyes. Nang Gong Zuaya was a bit embarrassed that she had made Long Chen apologize so directly. She said, Sorry, I was a bit harsh. Not at all. I've gotten used to my sloppiness. For two peerless beauties like you to be eating and drinking beside me is an immense honor for me. Unfortunately, this is just my character, and I cannot easily change it. So if I say anything rude, please endure it a bit, and it will pass quickly. Nang Gong Zuaya was just about to say some humble words about Long Chen's rudeness when he suddenly told her to simply endure it. He had actually almost baited her. She was silent, not knowing how to respond to such a thing. Long Chen, have you always talked this way? If so, I'm curious just how you haven't been beaten to death by someone already. It really is a miracle. However, I can understand why a dislikable fellow like you has enemies everywhere, said Bidang Rushuang as if she had found the source. Originally, I thought that you weren't so bad. Based on what you said at the beginning, I thought you were a master of the Tao. I even thought that you had moved Fairy Zuayu. So I was hoping to ruin that. Only now do I find that I have helped her. Letting her see what you truly are in an instant. Fairy Rushuang. You're overthinking it. Said Nang Gong Zuayu. My heart has always been devoted to the Tao. I'm no longer interested in profit or romance. So when it comes to past enmities. I don't care. The past is like mist. And the dead return to dust. With the passing of time. The people have changed. Is caring about past enmities really important? Bidang Rushuang immediately shot up and shouted. You were the one who harmed others. And now you criticize those who wish for vengeance like you're some good person. Is this the style of the Nangong family? If it weren't for that slut from the Nangong family, we would have been related to Sovereign Zi Yang by marriage. It was your Nangong family that ruined Fairy King Gion's romance, causing her to fall into depression. She buried herself within the ancient battlefield, burying herself within the time when she was actually happy. That kind of pain, that kind of helplessness. Do you think you can brush it off with just a sentence? Bidang Rushuang was infuriated, and her hatred was apparent. Nangong Zuayu stood sadly and walked out of the tent. Run, that's all you can do. Does the Nangong family discuss the Tao from the front and then stab people in the back from behind? Raged Bidang Rushuang. Nangong Zuayu did not pause. Ripples spread around her body, and she merged into heaven and earth, vanishing. Long Chen stared in silence. It seemed that the enmity between their two families was truly immense. Sovereign Zi Yang? He hadn't heard that name before. Although Nangong Zuayu had left, Bidang Rushuang was still shaking with rage, as well as sorrow. She was sobbing. Long Chen didn't say a word. He knew not to provoke her at this time. What are you looking at? Bidang Rushuang suddenly turned toward Long Chen angrily. Chapter 2074 Bidang Rushuang's proposal he couldn't even look? Long Chen speechlessly turned away, focusing on his wine. Why aren't you looking at me? Ha! Huh? Have I ruined your beautiful dream of romance? Are you cursing me inside? What? I can't cry. Whether I'm crying or smiling. You're definitely laughing at me inside, aren't you? Raged Bidang Rushuang. Now Long Chen began to sweat. So he couldn't not look either. As expected, he couldn't reason with women. It was something that had nothing to do with cultivation base. I don't remember laughing at anyone in my life. I'm not qualified to do that, said Long Chen. He then turned back to his wine. It seemed that Long Chen's response was satisfactory as Bidang Rushuang also sat back down. Now that Nangong Zuayu had left, it was just the two of them in the tent. The atmosphere was a bit strange. Am I very unreasonable side Bidang Rushuang? Not being reasonable is very normal for a woman, especially a woman as beautiful as you. When your temper flares, most people will yield to you, even me, said Long Chen. As long as your temper doesn't touch my bottom line, I'll endure it. But if it was someone else acting like this, for example Zhao Wuji, I'd slap him so hard that he wouldn't know which way was north. The way Long Chen helplessly shrugged about that actually ended up interrupting Bidang Rushuang sobbing with a short chuckle. She wiped away her tears and drank some more wine. Looking into the distance, it seemed that she was lost in her memories. 
It was only after an incense stick's worth of time that she once more spoke. Sovereign Zi Yang was the last of the five sovereigns. He was mysterious and powerful, as well as very attractive. It's unknown just how many women admired him. Before he became a sovereign, he had a certain relationship with my Bidang family. It just so happened that we also had a peerless female genius at that time who also had a high chance of becoming a sovereign. Her name was Bidang Kingayan. Sovereign Zi Yang had a romantic history with Fairy Kingayan, but a certain slot appeared within the Nangong family that deliberately ruined their relationship. In the end, the two went on separate paths. Sovereign Zi Yang vanished shortly after becoming a sovereign, while Fairy Kingayan lost her youth hoping for him to return. In the end, she buried himself within the ancient battlefield where the two of them had once fought alongside each other, even until the day she died. She didn't get to see Sovereign Zi Yang again. Tell me, don't you think the Nangong family deserves to die? Bidang Rushuang's fury once more welled up. That enmity had occurred countless years ago, but it had not been wiped away. Long Chen looked at Bidang Rushuang and nodded. They truly deserve to die. Ruining a pair of lovers is one of the most hateful things in this world. Perhaps in the eyes of your family. The Nangong family ruined the chance for the Bidang family to soar to power. But from your eyes, I see that you don't care about that. What you care about is justice for Fairy Kingayan. Bidang Rushuang looked at Long Chen in a new light. He had actually touched on the soft part in her heart. She had bitterly cultivated, overcoming trials and adversity, walking the path between life and death. It was not for her family, but because of the injustice that had occurred to Fairy Kingayan. She didn't care about fame and profit, but Nangong Zuai refused to let her prove that she was stronger than her, and that the Bidang family could suppress the Nangong family. She had long since gotten used to being misunderstood, and she couldn't be bothered to explain herself. However, Long Chen had actually understood her motives after just a short time. Thank you, said Bidang Rushuang quietly. Sometimes, a single word could be particularly touching. For someone to understand her when the whole world had misjudged her felt good. Don't worry about it. If you really want to thank me, you can erase the debt I owe you. It would be best if you also repaid Nangong Zuayu's portion for me, chortled Long Chen. Don't even think about it. The good feelings that she had just started to have toward Long Chen vanished like smoke. After talking a bit more with Long Chen, Bidang Rushuang didn't even notice it, but her mood had improved quite a bit. Long Chen, let me suggest a possible path for you. As long as you can go through with it, this little bit of Peak Dao transformation dragon saliva would be nothing, said Bidang Rushuang, suddenly getting closer to Long Chen. A crafty light appeared in her eyes. There's such an option. Long Chen was suspicious. Of course, as long as you pursue Nangong Zuayu and succeed, not only would you have gained a peerless beauty, but you would have the support of the Nangong family. In the future, who would you need to fear you really are sinister? How is it sinister? This is of huge help to you, said Bidang Rushuang innocently. You want a beautiful flower like Nangong Zuayu to stick herself in a pile of dung like me? How vicious. Long Chen was speechless. Bidang Rushuang laughed. It was her first time feeling that Long Chen actually had a cute side. It seemed he had some self-awareness. How can you have so little confidence? You're someone who has spoken to a sovereign before. As long as you maintain a certain air of mystery, perhaps the Nangong family really will be interested in you, said Bidang Rushuang. Give it up. Ever since I walked out of the eastern wasteland, I haven't relied on powerful backers. We should also return. If a single man and woman are to be together in one tent for too long, who knows what might happen? Long Chen stood up. I'm not afraid of that. So what are you afraid of? Bidang Rushuang frowned. I'm very afraid. I already have women waiting for me at home. If they are to hear any rumors, it will cause a calamity, said Long Chen as he put away the grill and tent. Miss Bidang, I have some things to do, so I'll leave now. It would be best if you left a bit later, or it would cause a misunderstanding if we left together. Hey, I still have more questions. Long Chen was already flying away as Bidang Rushuang called out. She stamped her feet in fury. That Long Chen really is a scoundrel. No one has ever dared to refuse me. 
Bidang Rushuang clenched her teeth furiously over the fact that Long Chen had escaped. However, after a bout of rage, she also smiled. This Long Chen was truly a marvel. He definitely wasn't a normal person, and he was very interesting. Long Chen returned to the ancient city and had someone arrange a private room for him. The Dongfang family had truly gone all out for this gathering. Everything had been arranged to prevent any clashes. A private room was immediately provided to Long Chen. There was a large underground space with all kinds of rooms. Some were used for cultivation, some were for comprehension, and some were for practicing techniques. There were even rooms for alchemy. They were covered in ancient divine runes, with each rune representing a different kind of energy of the heavenly deos. Refining in the alchemy rooms with supportive formations would increase the odds of a successful refinement. Building such a formation was very costly. As for Long Chen, he had always been confident in his alchemy arts. So any formations in his alchemy rooms were very simple. Although Xia Chen had joined the Dragonblood Legion, Long Chen hadn't really refined pills afterward, and his money had always been tight. So he had never built himself a proper alchemy room. Now seeing these ancient alchemy rooms, he was moved. He knew he needed a true alchemy room. Although Huo Long was also capable of refining pills on its own, its spiritual strength was weaker. And furthermore, alchemy was not a simple case of repeating what you saw. Alchemy was something that needed profound learning. Sometimes a single thought, a single blink of the eye, and a single emotion could affect the end result of a refinement. So a person could spend a lifetime refining countless pills without two that were identical. For Huo Long to refine pills on its own, although the quality was certainly high, those pills would lack a certain spirituality. Humans were the only ones capable of bestowing such a thing to a pill, and that was also why humans were called the most spiritual of all beings. Once the attendant who arranged the room for him left, Long Chen sat down in his alchemy room and placed his new pill furnace in front of him. He also took out the nine lotus soul condensing pill. He placed it within the furnace and slowly formed hand seals. His spiritual strength flowed out into the furnace. A holy aura enveloped Long Chen, and an image appeared on his forehead. There were millions of threads within that image that formed into a flame. When that image appeared, the pill furnace shook ever so slightly. The starry images on it lit up and began to resonate with that image. This was an ancient and holy contractual ceremony between alchemist and furnace. Although this ancient furnace had acknowledged Long Chen, for him to fully control it required this ancient contract. This way, they would be one. Suddenly, the nine lotus soul condensing pill within the furnace shook. Nine lotus flowers appeared, and a ray of light shot out of it. Striking Long Chen in the head. Chapter 2075 Pill Refinement When the light entered his forehead, countless scraps of information flooded Long Chen's mind. This moon and star refining furnace has actually participated in a battle with a sovereign. This furnace was exceedingly old and had also been injured gravely. Its item spirit was a shadow of its former self, and in order to nourish the nine lotus soul condensing pill, it had exhausted almost all its energy. When Long Chen had first touched the furnace and sent his immense spiritual strength into it, he had immediately received its recognition, which was why he had been able to open it. At the same time, he also obtained the recognition of the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill. Therefore, it had actually protected him rather than fleeing. With the Moon and Star Refining Furnace in its badly damaged state, it was only able to communicate with Long Chen through the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill. This was why the Mechanism Sect had viewed the Moon and Star Refining Furnace as garbage. They had done countless tests before confirming that its item spirit was essentially dead, and there was no way to save it. The item spirit had essentially sealed itself off in order to survive for longer, waiting for a chance to heal. Over time, countless master alchemists had tried to communicate with the Moon and Star Refining Furnace, but they hadn't gotten any reaction resulting in them assuming that the item spirit had vanished. However, in truth, this furnace had been waiting for someone with a powerful soul. As for Long Chen, his soul was definitely the strongest. Only spiritual strength on his level could possibly help the item spirit recover, which was how he had gained its recognition. Despite that, the damage to the furnace was too serious for it to express its own will. 
Long Chen could only try to communicate with it through the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill. This Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill had managed to survive its pill tribulation, resulting in it gaining its own intelligence. It managed to transmit a few fragmentary images of the moon and star refining furnace's origins. The images were chaotic at first, but then they began to clear up. Long Chen saw a battlefield. There was one elder, who, in the last moments of his life, flung the moon and star refining furnace out of the battlefield. Someone shouted for a sovereign. Long Chen then saw a white-robed figure for just a moment before the images grew chaotic once more. Corpses were everywhere. There were mountains of withered bones and rivers of blood. The images then shifted. He saw a mass of people looking at the moon and star refining furnace covetously. Then there was a fierce slaughter. Long Chen guessed that the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill had long since formed within the furnace but had been constantly nourished within it. The pill had still been very immature during the battle, so its memories were hazy. Then when its master died, it went through countless years of slaughter, going through one master after another as they fought over it, in the end falling into the mechanism sect's hands. Even in death, your master was thinking of you. This senior is a perfect model for my Dao Long Chen had a respectful expression. This alchemist had treated the moon and star refining furnace as well as the nine lotus soul condensing pill as even more important than his own life. He had been willing to die to send them flying out of the battlefield. This pill was different from other pills. It had absorbed the essence of heaven and earth over countless years and had survived a powerful tribulation. If such a pill was eaten, it would be a waste of a treasure. Long Chen nourished it with his soul. In the future, he would find a chance to give it to Meng Chi. With its help, she could cultivate twice as fast with half the effort. To repair the moon and star refining furnace, the best option is refining pills. Long Chen smiled. Although the item spirit was on its last breaths, Long Chen was confident in being able to heal it. Within his pill sovereign memories, there was a certain method to nourish furnaces through refining pills. Perhaps this was all the hidden workings of fate. Long Chen had urgently needed a powerful furnace, but the moon and star refining furnace had needed someone who could heal it even more. So it was no coincidence that it had acknowledged Long Chen instantly. Long Chen first used the heaven incinerating flame to slowly warm up the furnace. He knew it was a powerful furnace, but any concrete details about its abilities would have to wait until the item spirit awoke, as it was in its injured state. Long Chen didn't dare to add too much power right at the start. As he warmed up the furnace, Long Chen sank within his mind. After a bit of time, he began to search for medicinal plants within the primal chaos space. Fortunately, I took all the medicinal fields in the yin yang world. I didn't even know that they were 11th tier ingredients. At the time when he had taken those ingredients, there hadn't been 11th tier medicinal ingredients in his memories. Fortunately, he was in a good habit of taking first and asking questions later. 7 Aperture Jewel Fruit Autumn Water Sea Apple Rootless Bone Piece Grass Long Chen picked out over 200 precious medicines. After taking them out, he smiled. He actually had them all. For higher tier pills, the requirements for the ingredients were even more stringent. For 10th tier pills or below, perhaps certain ingredients could be substituted if he were missing some but he couldn't lack even a single ingredient for an 11th tier pill. It was a good thing he had them all. Long Chen smoothly refined these precious medicines one by one. After not refining pills for a long time, he actually felt a bit ashamed. His rice had started with the Feng Fu pill. Refining pills was his foundation. But these years, he had been so focused on cultivation that he hadn't even thought about his alchemy arts. The pill Dao was the foundation on which he stood. The medicinal plants that entered the moon and star refining furnace slowly withered. Their impurities were forced out, leaving only their essence in the form of powders. Suddenly, a flash of fire snaked out, and the powders instantly turned to ash. As expected, without the moon and star refining furnace working with me, it's too taxing to refine 11th tier pills on my own, sighed Long Chen. Such a scenario rarely happened to Long Chen. After all, Refining medicinal plants into powders was one of the easier aspects of alchemy. But today, Long Chen was refining an 11th tier pill. 
the requirements just for purifying the ingredients were extremely high. With even the slightest mistake, the refinement could fail. Without enough heat, the medicinal energy wouldn't get locked into the powder. But if the heat was even a bit too high, it would incinerate the medicinal powders. I was too dependent on the blazing dragon cauldron before. I should bring out my own abilities. Long Chen rubbed his hands, and with new motivation, his focus was razor sharp. Now that he was serious, that kind of mistake didn't occur again. He refined 30 sets of the ingredients into powders before taking a slight break. When he started once more, what he took out was the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. This Black Illusion Dragon Flame was not suited to refining pills. Its nature was too berserk, and even though Huo Long had already gained complete control over its power, its nature simply could not be changed. Furthermore, Long Chen had given all its gentle aspects over to the Pill Fairy when they had first obtained it. He wasn't using the Black Illusion Dragon Flame to refine anything. He simply wanted to get the Moon and Star Refining Furnace accustomed to a higher heat. Very quickly, a smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Although the feeling hadn't been very noticeable when he had used the Heaven Incinerating Flame, he could clearly feel the Moon and Star Refining Furnace absorbing the energy of his Black Illusion Dragon Flame now. That was a good sign. Long Chen's special technique for healing the furnace involved healing it while refining pills. Now that it was absorbing his flame energy, the furnace was slowly awakening from its slumber. Long Chen increased the power of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, but it didn't affect the rate at which the Moon and Star Refining Furnace absorbed its energy. After an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen had used over 20 different temperatures to test the furnace, only to get no reaction. He finally sighed and pulled the Black Illusion Dragon Flame back. In its place, he summoned what appeared to be a ball of water but was actually fire. The flames danced in his hand like fine wine that had been ignited. A terrifying heat filled the room. Huo Long, work hard. With this kind of power, there's no way for us to refine pills. Long Chen frowned. Huo Long had just gained control of the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame. Using it for fighting was no problem but using it for refining pills was definitely forcing things. Huo Long began to strengthen its control. The flame in Long Chen's hand shrank slightly. Control doesn't depend on size. The main point is the core energy. Ah, this is too difficult for you. We'll work together. Long Chen found that there was no way to explain such profound principles with words. Even a smart person wouldn't be able to understand it immediately. Long Chen's spiritual strength surged. Merging with Huo Long's power, the inverse Tao water spirit flame slowly became dimmer, and in the end, became as calm as water. Following that, a sudden burst of light came out of it like a volcano. The volcano erupted and was suppressed time after time. After dozens of passes, Long Chen's forehead was covered in sweat. The inverse Tao water spirit flame was too powerful. He and Huo Long were like two children trying to direct a dragon. Even though the dragon was obedient, it was still difficult to control. Long Chen's spiritual strength was starting to drain quickly. It was as taxing as when he fought all out in battle. That's about enough. Whether or not I can make some money will be up to this. Long Chen took a deep breath and sent the inverse Tao water spirit flame into the depths of the furnace. He also sent the powders inside. It was time to truly start the pill refinement. Chapter 2076 Miscalculation When the inverse Tao water spirit flame was sent into the moon and star refining furnace, the furnace was like a dry river that had finally received nourishment. A bright light slowly began to come from it. Could it be that this inverse Tao water spirit flame has a level of agreement with the moon and star refining furnace? Long Chen was startled by this reaction. Just at this moment, a message came from the Nine Lotus Soul condensing pill in his spiritual space, and it enlightened him. The original master of the moon and star refining furnace had also controlled the inverse Tao water spirit flame. It is truly fate. You needed me, and I needed you. Long Chen smiled. It was too much of a coincidence. This was the silent workings of fate that had connected him with the moon and star refining furnace. Long Chen had never believed in luck, but this time, his luck had been truly heaven-defying. For a while, he wasn't able to believe it, but then he understood. It had nothing to do with luck. 
This furnace had been waiting for him all this time, even with the item spirit slumbering, with the inverse Tao water spirit flame, the furnace's runes began to activate, it was an automatic reaction, even though his control of the inverse Tao water spirit flame was not as great as the old master of this furnace, it gradually grew calm as the furnace activated, now the chances of success are improved, Long Chen was delighted, he began sending in the medicinal powders one by one, they gradually became white fluid after being refined. That was the essence of all those precious ingredients. Long Chen kept his gaze locked on the moon and star refining furnace and the changes in the medicinal liquid. He was very strict with his control over his flame, not being the slightest bit careless. Despite that, when the 37th powder attempted to merge, due to a distraction, all the medicinal liquid turned to ash. However, Long Chen's mental state did not even twitch. Everything was within his expectations. Succeeding in one go was definitely impossible. This was a foreign furnace, with a pill flame that he couldn't completely control, and a kind of pill that he had never refined before. He would need to go slowly. That was why Long Chen had refined 30 portions of the medicinal powders at the start. Someone who had never relied on luck to live could only rely on power. The difficulty of refining an 11th tier medicinal pill still ended up surpassing his expectations. After 7 failures, he was forced to come to a stop. He had lost 10% of his spiritual strength from his efforts. In a battle, that wouldn't cause any adverse effects. But while refining pills, just this 10% drop in spiritual strength could lower his focus. Despite his failures, he was comforted by the fact that each failure had led him further into the merger process Novaloon.com He was already capable of merging 130 of the ingredients. His strongest aspect was that he never made the same mistake twice. As long as he persevered, he would eventually succeed. He had always been a staunch believer that even without good luck, as long as he put in 10 times or 100 times the effort of what other people did, he could still succeed. As for complaining, that was useless. His heaven-defying bad luck had groomed his unyielding will, allowing him to bear his repeated failures and search for the correct path without giving up. Long Chen consumed a soul-nourishing pill and rested. After his soul was fully recovered, he pressed on. One failure after another. The 30 sets of medicinal powder had almost been used up, but Long Chen was growing increasingly more confident. He knew that he was growing ever closer to success. Finally, over 200 types of medicinal powders successfully merged. He closed the lid, and runes danced on top of the moon and star refining furnace. This room's formation was also automatically activated, drawing in energy from the world. This alchemy room is worth its weight in gold. I have to get one. Long Chen looked at the runes on the walls and recorded them with a photographic jade. He would have Xia Chen research this when he got back. An hour later, a muffled sound came from within the furnace. It shook ever so slightly before it quietened down. Success. Long Chen slowly opened the furnace and a burst of dense medicinal fragrance erupted, filling the entire room. However, Long Chen frowned. Upon extending a hand, a plump pill flew out. The medicinal fragrance wasn't locked in. Most likely, the seventh flame change was too slow, resulting in flaws on the outer seal. Long Chen muttered to himself as he closely examined this pill. There was a single line on top of this pill. It was a one-ring high-grade 11th tier pill. Although it wasn't top grade, it was still very valuable. However, to have used up 30 sets of ingredients to refine this single pill, there was no way that he had offset the cost of the ingredients. His gaze was calm as he examined it. He applied the slightest bit of force with his fingers, and it split open. A dark red liquid dripped out, and the medicinal fragrance grew even stronger. The merger didn't have any flaws. There aren't any major problems. The overall experiment is very satisfactory Long Chen smiled. After finding the problem, it was easy to fix it. There would definitely be many flaws in his first refinement. Originally, he had thought that there had been some problem in the merger. That would be troublesome because he wouldn't know which part of the merger process the problem lay in. Trying to figure it out would have taken much longer. However, based on his observation, it wasn't the merger but one of the temperature changes. What he had been dreading was having a whole heap of problems in his process. 
The fact that there weren't that many was definitely thanks to the moon and star refining furnace and this special alchemy room. They had made up for any tiny mistakes he had made. After another two hours, he finished his second refinement. His spiritual strength went all out, and red ripples appeared over the inverse Tao water spirit flame, covering the entire furnace. The furnace shook, and the runes on the walls began to send a torrent of energy within it. Rumbling voices rang out. Long Chen was starting to sweat. Huo Long could not perfectly control the inverse Tao water spirit flame, so Long Chen was forced to increase the amount of spiritual strength he was using. Long Chen was now using his spiritual strength as fuel to urge on the inverse Tao water spirit flame. It was being used up rapidly, and in just an incense stick's worth of time, his entire body was soaked in sweat. When merging the powders, due to having to keep track of multiple things, he couldn't use the full force of his spiritual strength, but with the lid sealed, all he had to do was control the temperature. During this time, he could wildly burn his spiritual strength. If the temperature grew a bit too hot, it wasn't a problem. The moon and star refining furnace was more than capable of adjusting it as long as it wasn't too great. On the other hand, if he didn't put enough power behind his flame, it would be like last time. The outer layer of the pill would end up porous, which allowed the medicinal energy to leak out, lowering the final quality. Long Chen's spiritual strength was surging out without hesitation. He wanted absolute control over the inverse Tao water spirit flame at this time. As a result, the furnace was shaking and rumbling. An invisible energy slowly grew within, causing Long Chen's expression to twitch. Seal. Long Chen shouted, slamming his hand on top of the lid. The item spirit wasn't awake yet. Hence, the furnace was running purely on instinct and couldn't help him too much. The pill within it was too powerful. It was starting to have a desire to break free of its restrictions and fly out. This was a dangerous moment. Many alchemists died at such junctures. Considering their positions, master alchemists should have long lives. However, 70% of alchemists ended up dying because of the pills they were refining. An alchemist's greatest desire was to challenge themselves and refine a unique and unmatched pill. However, such pills possessed so much power that they might explode once they escaped from the alchemist's control. Even if the furnace didn't explode, for that kind of power to erupt within it would still be enough to instantly annihilate an alchemist with their weak body. Long Chen was sweating hard. He hadn't expected this pill to be so terrifying. He didn't know what that mysterious woman had done to him at the bottom of the divine pool in the Brahma Divine Palace, but his pill sovereign memories had gone through a second awakening, and he had learned this pill formula at that time. The furnace was shuddering. If he allowed this energy to explode, then everything within a 30-mile radius would be annihilated. This place was the Dongfang family's precious ancient city. If he allowed something to explode here, wouldn't the Dongfang family take his life? What a miscalculation. If I had known this would happen, I would have used one of Pill Valley's formulas. Long Chen sighed. He was already running out of spiritual strength. He had to control his flame while also sealing the furnace. Things had already surpassed his expectations. Damn it. I'm running out of spiritual strength. Long Chen's expression was starting to get ugly. In order to increase the quality of this pill, he had calculated just how much spiritual strength he should use to get the best quality. In his calculations, he wouldn't have much remaining spiritual strength after the pill formed. However, something unexpected had occurred. Long Chen wanted to curse. As expected, his bad luck hung over him constantly. The rumbling grew more intense, and Long Chen was pale. He did his best to suppress the eruption. The pill was about to take form. If he let up now, it would charge out and explode. Bang. Suddenly, Long Chen's hand was blown off the lid, causing his expression to completely change. Chapter 2077 Thousand Hand Soul Condensing Pill Long Chen's expression changed. He had underestimated the power of this 11th tier medicinal pill. He had only been thinking about raising its quality and had overestimated his spiritual strength. The medicinal energy inside it was growing berserk. It was about to charge out of the furnace, and once it did, it would most likely explode, destroying this room. Long Chen's spiritual strength was almost exhausted. He could barely keep the lid locked. 
with the pill about to break out, his expression turned blue. A failure when refining pills was a minor matter. However, if he ruined the Dongfang family's special alchemy room, that would be bad. He had no way to give them an explanation. Just at this moment, the nine lotus soul condensing peel flew out of his spiritual space on its own accord, landing on top of the lid. Lotus images appeared on top of the pill. Strands of azure light fell out of it, enveloping the furnace. The berserk pill forming within the furnace slowly calmed down. It was still struggling but not as intensely as before. Long Chen couldn't help being delighted. He realized that the master of the furnace had refined the nine lotus soul condensing pill partly to help him refine pills. This nine lotus soul condensing pill actually had the ability to placate the medicinal energy in a pill. Although it wasn't a complete suppression, it was good enough. Long Chen sighed with relief. With the nine lotus soul condensing pill helping him suppress the berserk pill, his nearly exhausted spiritual strength was able to hang on for a bit longer. However, after another incense stick's worth of time, his head started to grow dizzy. If this continued, his spiritual strength would be severely overdrafted. It would take many days for his soul to recover. Just at this moment, light blossomed from the nine lotus soul condensing pill. Nine lotus images flew out of it, each lotus possessing its own powerful spiritual strength that helped Long Chen control the refinement. You really are a priceless treasure. Long Chen was ecstatic. He no longer had to split his attention now and could focus entirely on the dancing flames within the furnace. Boom. The furnace suddenly shook for one brief moment before everything became calm. Long Chen let out a long sigh and collapsed on the ground, feeling exhausted. He was soaked in sweat, dripping wet like he had just come out of the pool. He was pale but had a smile on his face. After that, the nine lotus soul condensing pill returned to his spiritual space. Its light was now dimmer. Many thanks. Long Chen knew that it had paid quite a price to help him. It was all due to his own carelessness. Perhaps he had been too overconfident, thinking that with the pill sovereign memories, he could control all medicinal pills. Now he knew why those who ended up drowning were often those who knew how to swim. Without the nine lotus soul condensing pill, Long Chen would have lost all his face today. It had truly helped him out and its own intelligence was not inferior to other life forms. Long Chen swallowed a soul-nourishing pill and activated the soul recovery formation of the room. Because his spiritual strength wasn't severely overdrafted, he recovered quickly. After a couple of hours, his spiritual strength had recovered to 60%. Only then did Long Chen stand up and open the furnace. A majestic aura surged out, causing the alchemy room to shake. A small ball of light lay slumbering at the bottom of the furnace. It shone brightly like a star. Top grade. He. Not bad. Long Chen smiled brightly, feeling incomparably proud. In the current world, all top grade 11th tier medicinal pills had come from the ancient era. He hadn't heard of anyone capable of refining 11th tier pills currently. Perhaps only the pill fairy was capable of refining an 11th tier medicinal pill but he was sure that she still couldn't control the inverse Tao water spirit flame well enough for alchemy. Although she looked like she wielded it easily in battle, that didn't mean that she could use it for alchemy. At the time when they had fought, her control over the inverse Tao water spirit flame had only reached a rudimentary level. Even if she had received the god's blessing, her control was definitely only equal to Long Chen's control right now. After all, she was human. Why Long Chen had Huo Long, a spirit of fire. That was why Long Chen would bet that this top grade 11th tier medicinal pill was the first such pill to appear in this era. Although he wasn't so excited that he was announcing it everywhere, he still felt proud. However, this pill isn't complete yet. There's still one more step. Long Chen smiled and closed the lid once more. Lai Long, it's up to you now. Buzz. Thunder Force surged out transforming into nine lightning dragons that enveloped the pill. Those were Lai Long's split bodies. They were weak and gently let their thunder force enter the pill furnace. The moon and star refining furnace's runes lit up, slowly absorbing the thunder force and sending it into the pill within. With his soul locked onto the furnace, he saw everything happening inside. His heart began to pound wildly. This was a way to cheat the heavens. Long Chen really wasn't sure it would work. 
Lai Long was already able to control the pill lightning. It was just a transformation of its energy which wasn't difficult. After all, its power originally came from heavenly tribulation, and pill lightning was just another kind of tribulation lightning. According to reason, it shouldn't be too difficult. But this matter was too important for Long Chen to not be nervous. If it worked, he could proceed with even greater projects. But if it failed, it would be a grave blow. If Lai Long really was capable of imitating pill lightning, it would be able to awaken the spirit of his top-grade pills and expel their impurities. In that way, any pills he refined would not have to worry about being strong enough to survive their natural lightning tribulations. Other people were unwilling to let their pills undergo those tribulations, and they locked them in formations for thousands of years, and even then, their pills would still lack a certain spirituality. If this worked, Long Chen wouldn't have to wait thousands of years. He could directly awaken the pill spirit and get a pill that was at least 30% stronger than pills that had their spirits awakened through formations. That was heaven-defying. So Long Chen was naturally nervous. Even after a moment, there was no reaction from the pill. Long Chen's heart sank. Lai Long, increased the power a bit. The thunder force increased by a bit. However, there was still no reaction. Why is this happening? Is this really not an option? But why not? Long Chen was disappointed. He rapidly thought of possibilities. But just where did the problem lay? Wait, I should activate the formation. Long Chen suddenly thought of a possibility. He was currently in a special environment. This alchemy room had multiple formations, and he had only activated the formation to nourish his soul, as he had turned off the formation that absorbed the energy of the world. This place was now isolated from the heavenly deos. When he activated the grand formation, heavenly Tao energy surged into the room, and the pill within the furnace shook, starting to slowly absorb the thunder force. It slowly awakened. As it awoke, its aura grew increasingly powerful. Long Chen had Lai Long increase its power. The thunder force had to be powerful to expel the few remaining bits of impurities in such a pill. However, the laws of the heavenly deos were emotionless. As natural lightning tribulation tested the pill's energy, it would eventually destroy it. The lightning didn't exist to help the pill improve. The increased quality and purity were just to give higher expectations. The higher expectations usually led to greater disappointment. Thunder rumbled as the nine lightning dragons grew larger and more powerful. Their auras also grew increasingly berserk. As for the pill, it was also growing stronger. Resisting the lightning was like excavating all its potential with its life on its line. This was an instinctual reaction. Any life form, even a pill that had just gained its own spirit, would fight to survive. It was unleashing all its power. Good job, Lai Long. Long Chen couldn't help praising Lai Long. The thunder force it was exhibiting was the exact same as natural pill lightning. Even its aura, even that divine pressure, even the rhythm, it was all perfect. Compared to Huo Long, Lai Long was more mature. It didn't let that praise change what it was doing. It steadily continued its work. Finally, the pill flew out of the furnace, its entire body blazing with light, which condensed into a strange figure. Millions of tentacles of light wove a barrier against the lightning. Boom. Those tentacles exploded. Long Chen hastily yelled stop and caught the pill. Ha ha ha. Success. Long Chen examined the pill. Runes flowed on top of its semi-transparent body, and he was able to clearly see a vine unfurled within it. This thousand hand soul condensing pill might not be able to compare to the nine lotus soul condensing pill, but it's still an amazing pill that has survived pill lightning. He. Auction. Here I come. Long Chen laughed and walked out of the alchemy room, going straight toward the auction region. Chapter 2078 Appraising the Spirit Pill Long Chen had just arrived at the auction area when one of the Dongfang family's disciples told him that he was late. The first day of the auction had already ended, but he could attend the second and third days. The auction lasted for a total of three days, with the first and second days being warm-up sessions for the third day. Although the first and second days also had amazing treasures, the best was definitely saved for last. Long Chen had spent a whole day refining his pill, so he had missed the first day. I came because I have something I want to give you to auction. Have I missed the time for that? Asked Long Chen. 
The disciple's eyes brightened. Not at all. May I ask what treasure you've taken out to auction? Oh, please don't misunderstand. I just need the general details. There is a specialized appraiser who will decide the bottom price. Furthermore, the Dongfang family guarantees the skill of the appraiser, so you don't need to worry about that. Even before it's auctioned off, you can withdraw underworld spirit beads equal to the bottom price. Depending on whether someone bids on it or not, you can trade the treasure with the Dongfang family for those underworld spirit beads. The Dongfang family really is not bad. A poor person like me couldn't even take out any underworld spirit beads. But this guarantee of yours will let me participate in the auction. Long Chen gave the disciple a thumbs up. Mr. Long Chen is joking. A peerless genius like you can take out any random treasure that would be worth the life of a disciple like me. It's just a difference of eras. The currency is different. Not having underworld spirit beads doesn't mean your status is low, said the disciple very smartly. If it was before, Long Chen would definitely lack confidence upon hearing that. But today he came with the thousand hand soul condensing pill. I want to auction a pill. Seeing the disciple's eyes light up, he said. Don't misunderstand. It's not that pill from the furnace but another pill. The disciple couldn't help being a bit disappointed upon hearing that. But it was well hidden. Then Mr. Long Chen. Please follow me. The attendant brought Long Chen to a private room. A middle-aged man with whiskers and a scholar's robes walked in shortly after. Mr. Long Chen. Let me introduce you. This is my Dongfang family's medicinal pill appraiser. He is also an amazing alchemy grandmaster said the disciple. As soon as this person walked in, Long Chen already sensed that he was an alchemist. He had both flame energy fluctuations and the spiritual fluctuations of an alchemist. There was also a dark red mark deep within his eyes. He had to be someone who possessed an ancient alchemy bloodline inheritance. As for what kind of inheritance he possessed, Long Chen didn't know. However, he had to have a special talent in this regard. What nonsense are you talking about? Mr. Long Chen is the true alchemy grandmaster. With just a glance, he could see that pill furnace's value and the pill inside. By praising me, aren't you going to make Mr. Long Chen laugh at me? Said the middle-aged man with a smile. You're too courteous. It was just a lucky guess. In any case, I'm here to show you a pill. Can we start the appraisal? Long Chen didn't want to talk about the moon and star refining furnace. Who knew just how many people coveted it? It was better to be Loki. May I ask what kind of pill you wish to auction? Here, Long Chen handed the appraiser a seemingly extremely ancient case. It was some random thing he had obtained from the Brahma secret realm. As for what it had contained, he had long since forgotten. It just so happened that this case could conceal the origins of the pill he was talking about. The middle-aged man received the case, but as soon as he touched it, his pupils shrank. He could already sense the intense fluctuations coming from within. A top grade pill. The appraiser first took out a formation disc and placed the case on it. He activated the formation and summoned a barrier around the case. This was to prevent the pill from attacking or running. When he opened the case though, it wasn't as violent as he had expected. Instead, he felt watery fluctuations. Those fluctuations were so powerful that they caused the barrier to shudder. A top grade 11th tier pill that has gone through tribulation exclaimed the appraiser. He immediately recognized it for what it was. Very few people had seen such a pill. In the Dongfang family, top grade 11th tier medicinal pills existed. But they weren't numerous and didn't even surpass a hundred in number. This middle-aged man had studied those pills as they were mostly textbook pills. That knowledge made him feel even more shocked by this pill. He was actually bearing witness to a pill that had survived pill lightning. Even ignoring what its effect was. Just its status as that kind of pill was enough to make countless alchemists go crazy over it. Did you refine this? The middle-aged man looked at Long Chen in disbelief. Due to the moon and star refining furnace. Every move of Long Chen's had been kept track of by the Dongfang family. The fact that Long Chen had used an alchemy room was known by the higher-ups. This middle-aged man immediately connected this pill to the fact that Long Chen had borrowed an alchemy room. However, as soon as he asked, he was embarrassed. As expected, Long Chen laughed. Do you feel like that's possible? With your vision, 
I'm sure you can tell that this pill is very old. The marks on it have a faint dark gold color. That's the mark of many years past. The middle-aged man turned red, just like tree rings. The exterior of a pill could show its age. Hence, as soon as the middle-aged man asked this question, he regretted it. He had actually made such a low-level mistake, which would draw his aptitude into question. Besides, ignoring whether or not Long Chen could refine a top-grade 11th-tier medicinal pill, even if he could, he would have needed to let the pill undergo tribulation. Everything within this city was under the Dongfang family's control, and Long Chen had not left the alchemy room for a pill to undergo tribulation. Haha, <laughs> please don't laugh at me. I was simply awed by your fame. For a single person to be able to raise the martial heaven continent's number one legion means that your alchemy arts are definitely not as simple as they appear on the surface. Otherwise, just the medicinal pills required for such a legion would bankrupt any sect even my Dongfang family wouldn't be able to raise such a group of elites. I only asked because you are a legend of the alchemy world, said the middle-aged man with a laugh. Long Chen laughed along, knowing that the middle-aged man was just concealing his own embarrassment. This pill had been dressed up by Long Chen to appear old. Long Chen was confident that no one would be able to tell. At the very least, this fellow in front of him was incapable of it. Haha, <laughs> please don't overpraise me. In truth, after obtaining that supreme pill, I actually got the crazy thought of also refining an 11th tier medicinal pill. As a result, ah, my gamble completely failed. I used up all the precious medicines I accumulated over the years without being able to refine anything. Sighed Long Chen. Long Chen's expression plus what he said made the female disciple who had brought him here chuckle. After a glare from the middle-aged man, she immediately stopped, but it was difficult to contain her mirth. Long Chen continued, even more unlucky, the pill was just about to form when my furnace cracked, so I lost my medicinal ingredients and my furnace. As for that moon and star refining furnace, you know it's still damaged and can't be used for now. As an alchemist, I'm now half crippled. I don't have a furnace or ingredients. So I've taken out this pill I obtained from the Brahma secret realm to see if I can make up for my losses. Can you estimate the price of this pill? Long Chen had created a whole story for this pill. That way, he wouldn't draw the Dongfang family's suspicions. Someone capable of refining 11th tier medicinal pills could shake the entire continent. He had to keep it secret. Saying that he found it in the Brahma secret realm was more believable. As expected, the middle-aged man focused on the pill. He examined it very carefully, taking out over 30 different tools to test it. With each test, he grew more infatuated with it. This is a true spirit pill, and it is the best one I have ever seen. Only pills that have gone through tribulation can truly be classified as spirit pills, praised the middle-aged man after an hour of tests. Then can I ask what kind of price you think it will sell for? Asked Long Chen. This was the important part. Chapter 2079 The second day's auction The middle-aged man once more looked at the thousand hand soul condensing pill and sighed. This pill has the thousand hand body seed as its main ingredient. Based on the fluctuations, it has the effect of concentrating the soul. However, I am unable to state its complete name. May I ask for guidance? For a master appraiser to be unable to recognize a medicinal pill was an embarrassment, but he would rather be embarrassed than make up a random name, that would be even more embarrassing, you have good vision, this pill is called the thousand hand soul condensing pill, I obtained it in a trial, and if I hadn't been told its name at that time, there's no way I could have recognized it, your pill Dao is admirable, said Long Chen, in truth, this middle aged man was quite skilled. This pill had three main ingredients, but the thousand hand body seed was its core. The names of pills were often decided based on the main ingredient's name as well as the pill's effect. Even though the middle aged man had not known its name, he would have been able to guess, but he didn't dare to randomly guess for fear of being laughed at. To not know its name but still be able to deduce the main ingredient and effect meant that his skills were not fake. It also showed his humility. Are you really planning on selling this tribulation pill? Asked the middle-aged man Novaloon.com I'm not quite sure I understand. I mean, are you bringing this pill out because you actually want it to sell? 
or just to increase your influence? Let me put it this way. If you really want to sell it, we'll give you a general price range. But if you simply wish to show off this thousand hand soul condensing pill, then you can simply request an excessive starting price for it, said the middle-aged man. Are you telling me to follow in the footsteps of that idiot Zhao Wuji? Laughed Long Chen. A pill that had survived tribulation was extremely rare and precious. In fact, its own value far surpassed its medicinal effect. That was why the middle-aged man guessed that Long Chen wanted fame from this pill. Rather than putting it in an auction, he could promote this pill, telling the world that he had a thousand hand soul condensing pill that had survived tribulation, and then when countless people came wanting to buy it, he could sell it off at the highest price. But if he put it in an auction, as soon as there was one bid, it had to be sold. Long Chen said, Of course I want to sell it. I have two tribulation pills. So why not sell one? Furthermore, although I failed my refinement this time, I've gained valuable experience. As long as I have enough ingredients and time, I'm confident in being able to refine a similar pill in the future. Hearing that, the middle-aged man scoffed inside. Even a high-grade or a middle-grade 11th-tier pill couldn't be refined as easily as Long Chen seemed to be treating it. Even the Dongfang family could not rashly waste money on refining top-grade 11th-tier medicinal pills. That was a bottomless pit that would never fill no matter how much money they threw into it. Even he, their master alchemist, was only allocated one complete set of ingredients each year to research the refinement of 11th-tier medicinal pills. That was entirely for research. The Dongfang family didn't really dare to go all out having him try to refine such a pill because they couldn't accept the cost. So he had an urge to laugh when Long Chen said that he could do such a thing as long as he had enough ingredients. What the alchemy world lacked the most was precious medicinal ingredients like those used for 11th tier medicinal pills. Just how could he get enough? Although this man hid his thoughts well, Long Chen still read them easily. This line of thinking was precisely what Long Chen wanted the others to have. I have the 9 Lotus Soul Condensing Pill. So this thousand hand soul condensing pill isn't too useful to me. I would rather sell it to buy things that I actually need. So there's no need to doubt my sincerity the middle-aged man nodded, feeling much more at ease. Then that's easy to handle. This thousand hand soul condensing pill will definitely be sold for a good price. Then let me give you an estimate for the price. A normal top grade 11th tier pill is too rare to buy with money. But based on energy conversions. A top grade 11th tier pill would be between 30 to 35 underworld spirit beads. Long Chen only listened without speaking. He didn't really know the value of the underworld spirit beads. Nor did he know the average price of a top grade 11th tier pill when there were no such pills in circulation on the continent. Hence, he was acting reserved. The middle-aged man continued. However, pills that have survived tribulation are different. Their price is normally 10 times greater or more. Of course, the rarer something is, the more valuable it is, and other than its actual value, there is also its value as an ancient relic, so its actual value is very difficult to estimate. Our Dongfang family will give you a base price of 500 underworld spirit beads. Long Chen nodded. This price is very appropriate. In reality, he had no idea if this price was appropriate or not. He had no idea how the values were calculated. But as long as it was worth money, it was fine. The middle-aged man smiled slightly. 500 underworld spirit beads is the base price. So you can take out 500 underworld spirit beads right now to bid for other treasures. Then when the thousand hand soul condensing pill is auctioned off, we'll give you all the underworld spirit beads minus those 500. Of course, if it doesn't sell, you can consider giving us the thousand hand soul condensing pill or trade back your 500 underworld spirit beads for it. That's entirely up to you. Based on my estimates, this pill would be fought over by quite a few people and should go for a very good price. Then I'm at ease. Long Chen merely nodded. He didn't know the pill's actual value, but from the shocked look in the disciples' eyes, he guessed that the price was good. This middle-aged man represented the Dongfang family and shouldn't be conning him. The middle-aged man carefully put away the thousand-hand soul condensing pill. He had someone bring over an elaborate bag, 
This was called a Cosmos bag and was simply another storage tool similar to a spatial ring. However, the Cosmos bag could store certain special items in special spaces supported by formations that didn't allow those items to lose spirituality over time. Good Cosmos bags could even nourish those items. There were 500 black and white beads within this Cosmos bag. Life and death energy flowed within them, supporting and contradicting each other. They both attacked and nourished each other. Every one of those beads contained vast life and death energy. These were underworld spirit beads. Treasures for the ancient era's nether passage experts. By the current era, they were almost all gone. These days, nether passage experts could only rely on slowly accumulating energy for their next advancement. Compared to the ancient era's experts, they were poor. After obtaining the 500 underworld spirit beads, Long Chen felt like a beggar who had suddenly become rich. His back became much straighter. The middle-aged man also gave Long Chen a receipt not much different from the secular world. After handling that, he asked, Mr. Long Chen, are there any precious alchemy materials you need? The Dongfang family has quite a few precious ingredients in its storage house. Perhaps we could help if you need anything. How crafty. As soon as Long Chen obtained money, they wanted him to spend some of it with them. Long Chen smiled. Alchemy requires careful consideration. I was too impatient before, resulting in continuous failures. Hence, I need to rest a bit more before my next try. Other than that, now that so many ancient powers have come out, I want to see their abilities. Good steel should be used on the edge of the blade, don't you think? The middle-aged man blushed. His thoughts had clearly been read. Long Chen had no experience with the ancient era's powers. So if the Dongfang family declared that this rare ingredient that only they possessed was worth an extravagant amount of money, how could Long Chen tell if they told the truth? So Long Chen wasn't planning on spending these underworld spirit beads easily. After all, this was a strong currency valuable anywhere. Haha, <laughs> that's a good idea too. No wonder you've dominated your generation at such a young age. This kind of steadiness is admirable. Well then. I have to do more behind-the-scenes work for the auction, so I won't accompany you any longer. The second day's auction is starting soon, so you can prepare yourself for that if you're interested, said the middle-aged man. Long Chen nodded and the disciple led him away. There were six hours until the second day's auction, so the disciple asked if Long Chen wished for a private room to rest in. Long Chen hesitated for a moment before nodding. After entering his room and closing the stone door, Long Chen burst into laughter. Success. I finally regained the feeling of being rich. Long Chen finally had a chance to unleash his emotions. In the future, he would refine even more top-grade pills, and they would all go through tribulations. If the outside world knew this, they would definitely go crazy. Haha, <laughs> Loki. I have to be Loki after laughing to his heart's content. He took a deep breath. He had to keep this secret. If anyone knew of this, the entire continent would be staring at him. Envy and greed could drive people crazy, so he had to be careful. He activated the room's formation, once more recovering his spiritual strength rapidly. After a few hours of recovery, golden runes began to blink on the wall. Long Chen opened his eyes. The second day's auction was starting. It was time to see if there was anything good. Chapter 2080 Burying your head in the sand The auction hall wasn't very large and was only a few hundred meters wide. However, the interior was extremely extravagant. There were 36 stone pillars following the walls. Each wall showed an image of the main stage from different angles so that people could examine the auction treasures closer. After all, they couldn't directly probe things with their divine senses here. That was no different than peeping, let alone a woman. Even for a man to be probed spiritually like that was a grave insult. Although the majority of these experts had treasures blocking such spiritual probing or had their own spiritual strength defense, it was still a provocation. So people wouldn't do that unless they had some serious enmity with the target. With the images projected on the walls, everyone could get a good look at what they were bidding on. There were hundreds of seats spread throughout the room. Every one of those seats was a solid wooden bench with precious felts laid on top of them. Every bench had small tables with tea, fruit, and general refreshments on them. Every seat had a beautiful female attendant standing beside it. 
They all look to be 16 to 17 years old. Mr. Long Chen, your seat is here. Long Chen was led by one of the Dongfang family's descendants to his seat. Long Chen eyed a seat and was very satisfied. This spot was near the back. Those sitting at the front would have so many people in the back looking at them. So this place was best. Mr. Long Chen, I truly apologize. If you had simply said that you were attending, we could have saved a seat closer to the front. We had to add the seat today because you came. The disciple actually apologized to him for the seat. No, this is a good place. It's hidden, safe from prying eyes. It faces the south, and there's a beautiful woman to the left, fruit to the right. The feng shu is perfect, said Long Chen. The attendant was worried that Long Chen wouldn't be happy sitting at the very back, while Long Chen actually didn't mind. She smiled at his words, and even the attendant standing by his seat covered her mouth. You're once more teasing young ladies. Long Chen, didn't you say that you had a fierce lady back home? If you keep flirting like this, I'm worried someone will be beaten to death. Another person walked into the room. It was the fiery beating Rushuang. She had a disdainful expression due to how Long Chen had left her last time, and she made the disciples of the Dongfang family jump in fear. Every person attending this auction was a peerless heavenly genius. Such people sometimes had strange tempers. Hence, these attendants didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless. Don't worry, it's not you girls. It's this fellow. Be careful of him. He's not a good person, said Bidang Rushuang. Long Chen was speechless. He took a bite of his fruit and said, I say, how did I offend you, Miss Beautiful Rushuang? Why ruin my good name? Your good name? What a joke. The majority of the continent wants you dead. Scoff Bidang Rushuang, sitting down right beside Long Chen. The curved bench was more than big enough to fit five or six people. The attendant quickly poured tea for her. Bidang Rushuang indicated that she didn't want tea. She pointed to some crystal and grapes, and the attendant immediately picked out a string of grapes for her, placing them on a silver dish and holding it out to her with both hands. Long Chen looked from his fruit to Bidang Rushuang who was eating gracefully. He laughed inside. Was she saying that he had no class? She wanted to play? That was fine with him. His gaze suddenly became gentle as he stared fixedly at her, especially at her bright red lips. That gaze was just like an autumn mosquito eyeing which flesh to target. Bidang Rushuang ate three grapes before feeling uncomfortable. This fellow's gaze was too powerful. She could feel her hair standing on end. She knew that he was doing it on purpose. She couldn't admit defeat. However, she could only eat two more grapes before suddenly coming to a stop. Enraged. Long Chen wasn't just looking at her now. He was actually licking his fruit. His tongue flicking against it repeatedly. Bidang Rushuang got goosebumps. Long Chen. You bastard. What do you think you're doing? Raged Bidang Rushuang. The Dongfang family's disciple had fled when Bidang Rushuang had sat down here. As for the attendant in charge for this seat. Her face was red. This teasing of Long Chen's was too obvious. Me? I'm learning from you. Right. Said Long Chen innocently. What nonsense. When did I ever eat in such a vile fashion? Demanded Bidang Rushuang. Seeing how elegantly you were eating. I thought of the most elegant way of eating in my hometown. It's to use the tongue to fully wash the fruit. Admire it. Treat it like you love it. Stop. That's disgusting. Bidang Rushuang shivered. Even a peerless genius like her couldn't handle a marvel like Long Chen. It served her right for trying to play with him. Long Chen chortled to himself. When it came to shamelessness, the only one he admired was Mo Nian. He didn't fear anyone else. He returned to eating his fruit normally. As the two of them were speaking, a man walked into the room. He appeared apathetic to everything around him, his arrogance clinging to him like a cloak. He looked around and immediately saw Bidang Rushuang. A flicker of shock appeared in his eyes. When he saw who was sitting beside her, he didn't even blink. He found his own seat. An attendant immediately went to pour tea for him, but he waved his hand, sitting down in quiet meditation. Mr. Long Chen, Fairy Rushuang, do you wish to activate the formation? asked their attendant. Every seat here had its own formation that could stop others from seeing and hearing them while allowing them to see everything outside clearly. No need. That would cause a misunderstanding. 
With that fiery woman at home, I have to be careful, said Long Chen. Bidang Rushuang glared at Long Chen. She said, just activating the sound barrier will be enough. The sound barrier was immediately activated. It was a faint layer of light that enveloped their position. The light then faded until it was almost impossible to see it. Bidang Rushuang was about to speak when suddenly Long Chen stood up, waving to the front. Following his gaze, she saw Nangong Zuayu. She didn't say anything. Nangong Zuayu saw Long Chen beckoning to her. She hesitated and then walked over. Why call her over? Whispered Bidang Rushuang. Isn't it because the two of you are my creditors? Furthermore, the enmity between your two families is a problem left from history. The Nangong family is the Nangong family, while Nangong Zuayu is her own person. Why mix them together? There are some things you just don't understand, said Bidang Rushuang. Perhaps there are things that I don't understand, but the matter between the two of you isn't one of them. You've already seen Nangong Zuayu's attitude. She has always yielded to you, which is an expression of her apology and compensation. To tell the truth, if I was Nangong Zuayu, I wouldn't be paying you the slightest attention. If you're so strong, go challenge the Nangong family instead of me. If one person made a mistake, does that make their entire family evildoers? If one bad person came from the martial heaven continent, should we all be executed? Furthermore, were all the people in your Bidang family's history good people? Did the rulers never make mistakes? Demanded Long Chen. Bidang Rushuang simply glared at Long Chen. She had no way to retort, but she also had no way to change her thinking. She couldn't suppress her hatred for the Nangong family. Your hatred should be targeted toward the Nangong family. When Nangong Zuayu is standing on the side of the Nangong family, you can fight her at ease, because that is fate. But you did the reverse, wanting to somehow challenge the Nangong family by attacking Nangong Zuayu. Tell me, are you really standing on the side of reason? Are you really able to fight her without any qualms or shame? If you could, then you would be a heartless person and you would have long since attacked her without caring about anything else. Since you can't, it means you don't really want to fight her. Without having a perfectly clear mental realm, defeating her would be far too difficult. So whether you are burying your head in the sand or taking off your pants to fart, there are still certain things that must be done. For example, I know that some people want to kill me based on their hostility toward me, but I don't eliminate them in advance. I wait for them to attack me before killing them. If I attack first, I might kill some innocent people, but if they attack first, I can kill them without any qualms. Although I'm at a disadvantage, I can maintain a peaceful heart. Nangong Zuayu has refused your challenge repeatedly. As for why, it's not as simple as you imagine. Well, that's all I can say since she's here now. Long Chen suddenly shut his mouth. Nangong Zuai walked into their barrier. It shivered for a moment before letting her in. Bidang Rushuang suddenly stood up. 